First, you will take a break and then come back for more pregame. This is Wonder Boys Football on the EAB Sports Network. Chicken Mart, your local chicken and more store, has some great deals to feed your family on a budget while supplies last at both their Arkansas Avenue and Weir Road locations. Assorted flavored pork loins, buy one and get one free. Breaded chicken breast chunks, buy one bag, get one bag free. Breaded chicken breast tenders, buy one bag, get one bag for free. Breaded chicken breast fillets, buy one bag, get one bag for free. Supplies are limited. So get these deals while they last only at your local Chicken Mart, your chicken and more store at both their Arkansas Avenue and Weir Road locations today. I am a teacher. I am a banker. I'm a father. I am a mother. I'm Muskie Harris, former Arkansas Razorback. I have 26 years of recovery. Meth does not discriminate. Choose your natural state. We choose me over there. 55,000 fans having a good time. 385 with a deadly secret. Meth kills more Arkansans per year than cocaine and heroin combined. Help stop this epidemic before it's too late. Choose your natural state. Choose me over meth. Are you looking for a great place to work that offers great pay and benefits? Well, you can make an impact in a safe, clean environment. ConAgra is looking for motivated, energetic people to join their team. ConAgra is recruiting industrial maintenance technicians to fill openings on all shifts. Positions start at $25.61 an hour plus a shift differential. Experience is required, so for immediate consideration, apply online at ConAgraBrands.com forward slash careers. That's ConAgraBrands.com forward slash careers. ConAgra is an equal opportunity employer. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees, products, and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings, and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479 272 40 69. Bell Nurse Athletes Corner, your high performance athletic store for quality athletic footwear and apparel, features Nike, Under Armour, The North Face, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kavu, Keen, and many, many more. Bellners invite you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined, experience the familiar faces at Bellners and help you with all your athletic needs. Bellners Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. This is Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys Football on River Country 1023 KCJC, Dardanelle, Russellville. Watch your money grow with First State Bank's My Rewards Checking. Earn 4% APY on balances up to $25,000 and nationwide ATM fee refunds. Plus, First State Bank makes banking easy with mobile banking and drive through banking 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Don't wait. Make the switch. Earn more interest with My Rewards Checking. My qualifications must be met to earn 4% APY. If qualifications are not met, the account will earn 0.05 APY that statement cycle. First State Bank, member FDIC. Hey, it's Drew Mitchell for Lakeside Oral, Facial, and Dental Implant Surgery. Lakeside is really proud this year to be sponsoring our local sports all throughout the River Valley. They're committed to the area. It's just another way they show that. When you're in the market for dentures, wisdom teeth, or whatever the case may be, remember Lakeside Oral, Facial, and Dental Implant Surgery and check out their website at lakesideofs.com. Lakeside Oral Surgery, helping make the broadcast of local sports throughout the River Valley possible. Arkansas Tech University Wonder Boys football is made possible by A Better Way Realty, Mr. Break and Lube, Lexicon, Alathus Realty, Health Plan Lady, ABC Children's Academy, Burris N2 Market, Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air, C&D Drug Store, Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, Arkansas Valley Farmers Association, Centennial Bank, Chicken Mart, ENF Roofing, ConAgra, Community Service Inc., Feltner's Athletes Corner, First State Bank by Liberty Car Wash, Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Empire. Plant Surgery, Miller Roofing Company, Ridgewood Brothers, by Philoride Autoplex, River Valley Tenning and Glass, Congressman Bruce Westerman, r r Express, and by River Valley Tractor, Arkansas Tech University, Wonder Boys Football on River Country, KCJC. Live from Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium in Russellville, it's time for Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys football. 
Today, the Wonder Boys host the University of Arkansas Monticello Bowl Weevils in great American Conference action here on the EAB Sports Network. Good afternoon, friends. My name is Sam Straisner. Thank you for joining us. Kelly Davis will be along in just a few minutes. Arkansas Tech made it two wins in a row by defeating Southwestern Oklahoma State 9-7 last Saturday night. Austin Hosier made a 20-yard field goal as time expired to give the Wonder Boys the victory. Arkansas Tech is 2-4 and four on the season. UA Monticello is also 2-4, and four, but the Bowl Weevil's arrow is pointed in the opposite direction. UAM has lost four consecutive games, and rather than winning on the last play of the game one week ago, the Bowl Weevils suffered the heartbreak of losing on the final play. Southeastern Oklahoma State scored a touchdown as time expired to defeat UAM 22-21. to We will step aside for a two-minute break and then return with a look at the starting lineups on the Lexicon pregame show. Lexicon can help you reach your goals and success Go to lexicon-inc.com slash football to learn more. You're listening to Arkansas Tech Football on the EAB Sports Network. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. Miller Roofing Company, a family-owned company treating you like family. Who's a part of the Miller family of employees? Tony Martin is construction supervisor. I go out and I look at whatever projects uh, people may be needing done, whether it's additions, remodel work. Uh, on the construction end, a lot of times people, they have a vision of what they want. And what I try to offer them is my experience uh, in this field. We just like to do the best that we can for our customers. Your friends at Miller Roofing. See them on South Arkansas and Russellville and follow them on Facebook. At Phil Wright Autoplex in Russellville, we know you have many places to buy a car. Our competitive pricing and no pressure sales team has made us the premier GMC and Chevrolet dealer in the River Valley for almost 50 years. Our impressive inventory is changing daily. Shop online 24-7 at philwright.com. For a simplified buying process, trust Phil Wright Autoplex. Great inventory, great prices, and an overall great buying experience. Exit 84 off I-40, Russellville. Word is spreading fast about how fantastic the food is over at Ridgewood Brothers Barbecue in the big city of Russellville. Slow-cooked barbecue, quality meat done the right way. But did you know if you have a big event coming? We're talking weddings, maybe some people coming in from out of town for a business meeting that you really want to impress. Ridgewood Brothers Barbecue can help you out. Definitely hit up Grant and the gang over there at Ridgewood Brothers Barbecue for catering. She here with you once again for Ridgewood Brothers. Welcome back to Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium in Russellville as we get set for the 79th all-time football meeting between Arkansas Tech University and the University of Arkansas at Monticello. Here are the starters for this afternoon's game. First for our guests from Monticello, the UAM Bowl Weevils. They are under the direction of Hud Jackson, who's in his 12th season as the head football coach at UAM. He is also their director of athletics. Starting on the offensive side of the ball for UA Monticello, the quarterback is Buddy Taylor, 5'11", 175, a freshman from River Ridge, Louisiana. Hayden Thomas is the running back, 5'9", 225, The wide receivers for UAM are Nick Howard, 6'3", 170, Somhor, Metairie, Louisiana, Isaiah Cross, 6'1", 200, Junior, Texarkana, Texas, and Arlie Lee, 6'2", 205, freshman, Stuttgart. Tight end for UAM is Ben Colligan, 6'3", 220, sophomore, Magnolia, Texas. And then on the offensive line for the Bowl Eagles, the left tackle is Jalen Del Santo, 6'7", 335, sophomore, Chicago, Illinois. The left guard is Tyler Castaneda, 6'4", 300, senior, Austin, Texas. Carter Sanders is the center, 6'2", 270, freshman, Benson. The right guard is Ryan Williams, 6'3", 295, Louisiana. 
On the defensive side for UA Monticello, the defensive linemen are Theron Bellard, 6'2", 290, senior, DeSoto, Texas, Johnny Taylor, 6'2", 270, freshman, New Orleans, Louisiana, and Alperny Hankins, 6'1", 230, junior, Charleston, Mississippi. The linebackers for the Bowl Weevils, Damaris White, 6'2", 225, senior from Urbana, a graduate of Smackover High School, Robert Iverson, 6'2", 210, sophomore, New Manchester, Georgia, Damarian Holmes, 6'2", 195, senior, Mansfield, Texas, and Rima Gitter, 6'2", 220, a junior from Shreveport, Louisiana. The cornerbacks for UAM are Jalen Gillard, 6'175", freshman, Metairie, Louisiana, and Greg Hooks, 6'1", 195, junior from Osceola. The safeties for UAM are Bryson LeBlanc, 6'175", sophomore, Iowa, Louisiana, and Jaden McGarry, 5'10", 160, junior, Omaha, Nebraska. Now the starters for the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys, coached by Kyle Shipp in his fourth season as the head football coach at his alma mater. Starting on the offensive side of the ball, the quarterback is Tay Gatewood, 6'220", senior, Fort Smith. Deuce Wise at running back, 5'10", 205, sophomore, Fort Smith. The wide receivers, Cooper Smith, 6'175", freshman, Bentonville. Caleb Tannis, 6'3", 215, junior, Kansas City, Missouri. And Matthew Rivera, 5'10", 180, junior, Jacksonville, Florida. The tight end is Jordan Eddington, 6'2", 260, junior, Little Rock. And then on the offensive line for Arkansas Tech, Jason Richardson at left tackle, 6'5", 320, junior, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Noah Tindall at left guard, 6'1", 275, freshman, Morrillton. Peyton Henderson is a scratch at center today, not dressed out for the Wonder Boys. And so the starting center will be Christian Moody, 6'3", 300, junior, Nashville, Tennessee. The right guard, Gage Parker, 6'1", 290, freshman, DeBerry, Texas. And the right tackle for Arkansas Tech, Nate Burkhartsmeyer, 6'4", 295, sophomore, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now the defensive starters for Arkansas Tech, the defensive tackle, Braxton Johnson, 6'2", 275, sophomore, North Little Rock. Trey White at nose guard, 6'1", 300, junior, Shreveport, Louisiana. The defensive ends are Vershad Richardson, 6'3", 245, junior, Paris, Texas, and Kyle Green, 6'1", 245, junior, Bryant. The linebackers for Arkansas Tech, Armando Harper, 6'2", 215, sophomore, Gurdon, and Matthew Minix, 6'2", 225, a junior from Tulsa, Oklahoma. The cornerbacks for Arkansas Tech, Kylan Crike, 6'2", 180, freshman, Newport, and Damian Jordan, 5'11", 175, freshman, South Haven, Mississippi. The safeties are C.J. Palmer, 6'1", 185, sophomore, Pocahontas, and Matt Arnold, 6'185", junior, Texarkana, Texas. The rover is Ben Stiegel, 5'10", 180, sophomore, Germantown, Tennessee. Those are the starters for the Wonder Boys and the Bull Weevils here in the Alathus Realty's broadcast booth. We will step aside for a 30-second break. This has been the Lexicon pregame show. Lexicon can help you reach your goals and success. Go to lexicon-inc.com slash football to learn more. Back in 30 seconds plus a station ID, this is Arkansas Tech Football on the EAB Sports Network. Why trust River Valley Tinting and Glass? Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family-owned business, and they take care of their customers like family, too. So remember, your local auto, residential, and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you could always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Welcome back into the Alathus Realty Broadcast booth at Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium in Russellville. The Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys wearing the dark green uniform tops trimmed in gold and white. And the dark green pants with the gold helmets with the Arkansas Tech logo on one side and each player's jersey number on the other. UA Monticello wearing the Kelly green pants, the white uniform tops, the white helmets, 
and UA Monticello won the opening toss and elected to receive. And so the Bull Weevils will go on offense first. They will be moving from our left to our right toward the south goal. And that means that they will have the wind behind them in the opening quarter. It's about a 10 to 15 mile an hour breeze out of the north northwest coming into Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium in Russellville. An overcast afternoon, about 62 degrees. It very much feels like autumn in Russellville, Arkansas, as we get set for the 79th meeting between Arkansas Tech and UAM. The Wonder Boys lead the all-time series 45 to 30 and three ties, but UAM has won the last five meetings in the series. That is UAM's longest winning streak against Arkansas Tech since the Bowl Reapers reeled off six consecutive wins against Arkansas Tech from 1950 through 1955. Logan Tymerson kicks it away and we are underway in Russellville. It will come down to the 16-yard line, running east and west toward us with it for UA Monticello and trying to get around the edge. It is Arlie Lee, and Lee is forced out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That's where UAM will go on offense first. Lee, Arlie second Lee, in the conference return. in kickoff return so average this year at 28 yards per, that time a 15-yard kickoff return. So a nice job by the coverage unit for Arkansas Tech. And UAM comes onto the field sixth in the conference in total offense this year at 388.7 yards per game. They are predominantly a passing team. They lead the conference in passing offense at over 265 yards per game. The Wonder Boys on the other side, top five in the league in pass defense, holding their opponents to 173.5 passing yards per game with strength on strength when the Bowl Weebles throw the football here this afternoon. Their quarterback is Buddy Taylor on in place of the injured DeMilan Brown. He throws to the near side. Catch made for UA Monticello and out of bounds with it. It is Joshua Dixon, a junior tight end. Dixon is out of bounds at the 44-yard line with a gain of 14 and a UA Monticello first down. Bull Weevils want to go quickly. Buddy Taylor, their quarterback, completed 21 of 25 passes for 224 yards and two touchdowns. In their one-point loss at Southeastern last Saturday, he throws a screen here complete to Isaiah Cross, and Cross is immediately wrapped up and taken down by Arkansas Tech's Matt Arnold. Stop made for a loss of one back to the 43, and it'll be second down and 11. Blake Brown getting a start at linebacker for Arkansas Tech. Those starting lineups we give you are always just kind of an educated guess at best. Blake Brown is out there for Arkansas Tech defensively, as is Javon Love. Matthew Minix also in at a linebacker spot for Arkansas Tech. Three wide receivers for UAM. Four down linemen for the Wonder Boys. They hand it off, trying to run up the middle, and nothing there for UA Monticello as the Wonder Boys had that one read perfectly. Ball carrier for UAM was Glenn Cage. Glenn Cage, the freshman running back for the carry. Cage came in today with just 21 carries all season. He gets the call here and gains three yards up to the back to the 45-yard line, so just a gain of two. That'll make it third down and nine for UA Monticello. The Bowl Weevils have converted over 32.5% of their third down conversion tries so far this year, and that ranks eighth among the 12 members of the Great American Conference. On third down and nine, quarterback Buddy Taylor takes the snap. Taylor feels the pressure coming, rolls to his left. Now he's in trouble, steps up in the pocket, and he will be taken down. Quarterback sack reported by Jiren Stewart of Arkansas Tech and UA Monticello after getting one first down on this initial drive of the game. They'll have to cut it away as the loss is back to the 38-yard line. It is fourth down at 16. They have to cut it away for UAM. It is Zachary Grisotti. Grisotti averaging 37 yards per punt this year, which ranks ninth in the Great American Conference. Back deep to return for Arkansas Tech is Brian Crooms. Crooms, a freshman from Baytown, Texas. Rizzotti has the snap. Punt is off the side of his foot toward the near boundary. It lands at the Arkansas Tech 40-yard line. Takes a UA Monticello bounce and roll down to the 28. It'll end up being a 34-yard punt for Grizzotti, and it takes us to a timeout on the field. 12 minutes and 30 seconds to play in the first quarter. No score between the Wonder Boys and the Bull Weevils. Back in one minute, this is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability, durability, and versatility built in. Like number one selling Kubota, BX, and L-Series compact tractors. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut. And sidekick utility vehicles with durability and speed. Visit your local demo today. Time balance rotation. Oh, 
Now open on East Parkway Drive next to Starbucks in Russellville. Back with you in the Alathus Realty Broadcast booth at Simmons Bank Field at Bone Stadium in Russellville. That's Arkansas Tech hosting UAM. A matchup of two and four football teams for you this afternoon. Be glad to have you with us on KCJC 102.3 FM, the River Country KCJC website, the EAB Media Group app, and the ATU Athletics YouTube channel. Tay Gatewood, the Arkansas Tech quarterback, comes into the day fourth in the Great American Conference in passing at just over 209 yards per game. Four down linemen for UA Monticello. And on first down, a handoff to Deuce Wise. He tries to bounce it outside. Kind of gets partially drugged down from behind, able to maintain his balance enough to get out near the 35-yard line. They're going to spot him down at the 34 with a gain of five. And it'll be second down and five for the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys. We have the privilege of being joined by Kelly Davis. And Kelly, it's a beautiful day for football in Russellville, isn't it? It sure is. It's a beautiful day, a little bit of wind. Uh, ball is in the air. Oh, great day for football. A little flip to Corbin Hunter. He tries to get around right in. Holds one man, and then is tack tackled and appears to be short of the line to gain. Stop made for Ray Monticello by Damaris White. And it will be third down for Arkansas Tech. They're going to spot him down at the 38-yard line. That makes it third down and one for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys have converted on 36.9% of their third down conversions this year, which ranks seventh among the 12 members of the Great American Conference. Tay Gatewood, the quarterback, on third down and one, needs his own 39-yard line, brings Chase in motion, hands to Eddington. Eddington goes up the middle, spins off the first defender, then runs right into the chest of Michael Pope, but it's going to be enough for an Arkansas Tech first down as Jordan Eddington was simply stronger than the first goal we blew hitting. He was able to drive that man backwards for a first down for Arkansas Tech, and that means it's in a better way realty first down, a better way realty real estate done a better way. First and 10, Arkansas Tech from its own 41-yard line. 11 minutes to play in a scoreless first quarter in Russellville. As Arkansas Tech looks to end this five-game losing streak against UA Monticello and add to their current overall two-game winning streak, including that thrilling win at Swasu last Saturday. Gatewood throws short and complete to Deuce Wise. Good block by Eddington. Springs Wise down the near sideline, but then Wise takes a hit, loses the football, and it is recovered by UA Monticello. Fumble forced for UAM by Michael McCorvey, a freshman defensive back. And diving on the loose ball for UAM, it was Greg Hooks. As the Wonder Boys commit the game's first turnover, turnovers were certainly a big part of the story last year down at Convoy Leslie Cotton Bowl Stadium in Monticello. The Wonder Boys had five turnovers. UAM had zero in a 35-14 Bowl Weevils victory over Arkansas Tech on September 24th of last year. First turnover of this game is committed by Arkansas Tech. So the Wonder Boys defense right back onto the field. UAM quarterback Buddy Taylor has the Bowl Weevils ready to go on first down and 10 from their own 49 after the lost fumble for Arkansas Tech. Taylor takes the snap, looking right, nothing there, so he throws down the middle, man wide open, caught at the Arkansas Tech 35, and then stumbling down with it shortly thereafter for UAM, it was Arlie Lee. Lee entered the day for UAM with 10 catches for 100 yards this year. He has this one down to the 33-yard line, a pickup of 18, and the Bull Weevils want to go again. They've got four wide receivers. Taylor takes the snap, feels the pressure coming, rolls right, throws downfield, catch is dropped. Dropped inside the 20-yard line by Nick Howard, who got two hands on the football but could not bring it into his body. And the incompletion will make it second down in 10 UAM. The line of scrimmage remains the Arkansas Tech 33. Yeah, giving the quarterback way too much time early in the game to find those receivers. They're, they're finding the way to get early in the game. Tristan Smith is in at running back for UAM. Two receivers left for the Bull Weaver. Right now they're going to direct snap it to Arlie Lee. One of those receivers left is the quarterback, Buddy Taylor. Could be something up here. Penalty flags fly before the snap of the football, and that new snap count with Arlie Lee taking the direct snap leads to a false start by UAM. So that will move the football back to the Arkansas Tech 38-yard line. And from there, it'll be second down and 15 for the Bull Weavers. UAM's top two receivers this year are Isaiah Cross. He is top six in the conference in receiving, receiving and receiving yards, receptions, 
and receiving yards, I should say. Nick Howard also top six in the league in both of those categories. Direct snap to Lee. Lee around left hand with lots of running room. 30, 25, and drug down from behind. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle made by Ben Stiegel at the Arkansas Tech 24 yard line Lee, after a gain of 14 ben by Arlie Lee. It doesn't get much more simple than that. They just snapped it to Lee and he ran around left end. The goal Eagles had it blocked very well. That leads to a third down and one now. They will again direct snap to Arlie Lee. Lee running right this time. Spin move past Blake Brown, and that'll get him the first down inside the Arkansas Tech 20 and down to the 19, a gain of five on third down and one for Arlie Lee. And UA Monticello is in the red zone where the Bull Weevils lead the Great American Conference in red zone offensive efficiency this year. They have made 18 red zone trips and they've come away with points 17 times. So a 94.4% conversion rate in the red zone. And of those 17 scores, 16 of them have been touchdowns. They haven't even tried a field goal since week number one of the season. Quarterback Buddy Taylor again, looking left, throwing left, lobbing it toward the end zone. It is incomplete. Coverage provided on the far side of the field for Arkansas Tech by Kylan Price. The intended receiver for UAM was Nick Howard. And the incompletion will make it second down and 10 at UAM from the Arkansas Tech 19 yard line. Checking the Arkansas Tech defense, Damian Jordan is in at cornerback right now. Kylan Price, the other cornerback. Trey White, Braxton Johnson among the defensive linemen in right now for Arkansas Tech, along with Kyle Green. Israel Whitmore has checked in at the right defensive end on second down and 10 from the Tech 19. Taylor fakes the handoff, throws across the middle, catch is made by Isaiah Cross. He's going to be stopped short of the line to gain, wrapped up by Ben Stiegel. Stiegel able to make the stop at the Arkansas Tech 13 yard line after a game of six. And he's going to be third down and four after Lee is going to check in. They will snap it to Lee on third down and four. From the Arkansas Tech 13 yard line. They need to get to the nine for a first down. Eight minutes and 25 seconds to play in the first quarter. Scoreless right now, but UAM trying to cash in an Arkansas Tech turnover. Arlie Lee brings a man in motion. Uh, whistles and flags for snap of the football. Tied in, jump too soon. And a false start will make it third down and nine instead of third down and four. And that's a big difference, and so UAM will make a swap with their personnel. Buddy Taylor will check back in at quarterback. The Wonder Boys will send in some fresh defensive linemen to rush the passer, including Rashad Richardson, who is tied for third in the conference with tackles for a loss, and fourth in the conference at quarterback sacks this year. He has reported five sacks this year. They'll love to get number six right here on third down and nine for UAM from the Arkansas Tech 18-yard line. Again, the Bull Weevil's not very proficient at kicking the football, and so this is likely four down territory. They get ready for this third down and nine play. Taylor takes the snap. Looking, throwing toward the end zone, trying to find Harley Lee, but he overshot him. Excellent coverage from Arkansas Tech by Kevin Carlton to help force that incompletion. It is fourth down and nine, and we may very well see the field goal unit here for UAM. Zachary Grizzotti will attempt the field goal again. They have not attempted a field goal, which has made one since the first week of the year. In that first game of the season against Northwestern Oklahoma State, Grizzotti connected on a pair of field goals, the longest of which was a 34-yarder. This will be a 35-yard try from between the hash marks out of a hold by Caleb Jacobs. Midway through the first quarter as Zachary Grizzotti tries to score the first points of the game. His 35-yard field goal try on its way, a line drive. It is wide and left, no good, and the Arkansas Tech defense holds. And for just the second time all season, UAM comes up empty with a red zone trip as the Wonder Boys defense gets the football back for Arkansas Tech. Seven minutes and 44 seconds to go in the first quarter and it remains scoreless between Arkansas Tech and UAM. Several chances during the upcoming week to come out and cheer off Golden Suns volleyball team. Head coach Kara Coleman and Golden Suns will host Lane College for a 6 p.m. non-conference match on Tuesday. And then next weekend, a couple of conference matches, or late in the week, I should say, a couple of conference matches for the Golden Suns. 
as they will host Southeastern Oklahoma State at 6 p.m. Thursday. And then the Golden Suns will welcome East Central to town at 4 p.m. on Friday. The Friday match will be Dig Pink Day for Breast Cancer Awareness. So we invite you to come out to Tucker Coliseum on Tuesday at 6 p.m., Thursday at 6 p.m., and Friday at 4 p.m. for Golden Suns Volleyball. No admission charged. Check ArkansasTechSports.com for a complete schedule for Golden Suns Volleyball. Tay Gatewood, the Arkansas Tech quarterback on first and 10, Wonder Boys from their own 20. Free play here. Penalty flags fly, screen pass complete to the far side for Jordan Jackson and the Wonder Boys will happily accept that penalty flag against UAM because the completed pass goes for a loss of three, maybe four yards. And so the Wonder Boys will take the offside penalty against UAM. And it'll end up being first down and five, Arkansas Tech from its own 25 once they get this sorted out. UA Monticello is among the worst three teams in the conference when it comes to avoiding penalties. They average 71.2 penalty yards per game, which ranks 10th among the 12 members of the conference. They have twice as more than twice as many penalty yards as does Arkansas Tech this season. The Wonder Boys, top two in the league in fewest penalties, just 35.2 penalty yards per game this season for Arkansas Tech. Well, we'll hope, hopefully they'll keep their average going today. Jordan Jackson and Matthew Rivera are the receivers right. Rivera had that huge fourth down catch on the final drive of the game that helped set up Austin Hosier's game-winning field goal. Quarterback keeper here, midline option, and Gatewood kept it going right, and he'll be tackled shy of the 30-yard line and shy of the line to gain. Stop made for UA Monticello. By second short, good. Jacarius Scott with that tackle at the 29. So a gain of four makes it second down and one for the Wonder Boys. Jordan Jackson is a receiver left, as is Caleb Tannis. Tannis, the Wonder Boys leading receiver this year with 30 catches for 387 yards and four touchdowns. Change at quarterback here as it's Strand Smith on second and short. He runs it right, then cuts to his left and has enough for and a better way realty first down for Arkansas Tech. A gain of seven up to the, the I should say a gain of six now up to the 35 yard line. And the Wonder Boys move the change with six minutes and 30 seconds to go. No score between Arkansas Tech and UA Monticello. Wonder Boys looking for their third consecutive win. They get ready to go down to Arkadelphia next Saturday for a matchup with nationally ranked Washita Baptist. On first and 10, Wonder Boys from their own 35, Tay Gatewood back at quarterback. He fakes to Humphrey, rolls left, throws short and complete to Jordan Jackson, and Jackson gets absolutely drilled just as soon as he turned around. He saw Taylor Collins bearing down on him, and Collins makes the tackle at the 38 after a game of three. It is second down and seven, Arkansas Tech. Play developed just a little too slow. Wonder Boys working with a reshuffled offensive line due to the injury to Peyton Henderson. The center is Christian Moody. He normally plays right tackle. That means Burkhardt Smiley's in there today. Hand off to Humphrey. He tries the middle and is wrestled to the turf at the 40-yard line. Epic collision between Humphrey and UA Monticello's Michael Pope in the hole at the 40-yard line. The result is third down and five for Arkansas Tech after a gain of two by Humphrey. Wonder Boys are one out of one on third down conversion tries so far today. Just over five minutes to play in a scoreless first quarter from Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium in Russellville. Corbin Humphrey goes in motion on third and five. Gatewood, plenty of time, throws near side. It is incomplete in and out of the hands of Jorion Chase. A little bit of a disrupted timing there as Chase came out of his break a little bit late. He might have even lost his footing momentarily, causing him to really be off balance when he was trying to make that catch. It is incomplete. It is fourth down and five, and we will see the leading punter in the Great American Conference for the first time today and the reigning Great American Conference Special Teams Player of the Week, Aaron Wynn, who is averaging 45.5 yards per punt this year, would rank among the top five in the nation if he had enough punts to qualify. Good win at his back. Gets this one away. Beautiful. It is going to come down inside the 15-yard line. Received there for UA Monticello by LaSedrick Smith. And the Wonder Boys immediately have him snowed under. Smith will be marked down at the 9-yard line. And it will be first and 10 UA Monticello from there. 
And it takes us to a timeout on the field. Four minutes and 43 seconds to play in the first quarter. Arkansas Tech, zero, and UA Monticello, zero. In the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we pause for one minute. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. Realty Russellville, 568 5668. Kelly Davis has a keen eye trained on the Great American Conference scoreboard. Yeah, trying to work through this sun glare here. This, the sun feels good, though. It is uh, Southeast Oklahoma 7, Southern Nashville 7. That's in the first quarter. It is East Central has scored now. They lead uh, Northwest Oklahoma 7 0 looking for their first win, Northwestern. Uh, Oak Baptist and uh, Southwest Oklahoma 0 0, 849 to go in the first. And Southern Arkansas has a 7 0 lead over Henderson State, and that is still early in the first quarter. On first down, Buddy Taylor of UA Monticello hands it off, running left for the Bull Weevils. It was Glenn Cage. He was wrapped up by Will Stiegel. If you're used to seeing Will wearing number 81, he has made a number change, a handful of number changes for the Wonder Boys this week. One of those being Will Stiegel who has now joined his brother over on the defensive side of the ball after Will spent the first part of his Arkansas Tech career as a wide receiver. They are now both playing defense, both he and Ben. And Stiegel able to make the stop on Cage after a gain of four to the UA Monticello 13. Quarterback Buddy Taylor takes the snap, looking left, throwing left. Catch is made. And there with the stop for Arkansas Tech was Matt Arnold. Good tackle. Arnold immediately able to wrap up Isaiah Cross. <laughs> Nothing doing on that screen. And the loss of one back to 12 yards. From there, the Bulls will make third down and seven. Two minutes and 15 seconds to go in the first quarter. And no score as of yet between Arkansas Tech and UAM. UAM one out of three on third down conversion try. So far, a great chance here for the Arkansas Tech defense to get a three and out and get the football back, most likely in pretty good field position. Buddy Taylor in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Looking, throwing deep to the near side, but his intended receiver stumbled. He was trying to connect with Isaiah Cross, but Cross stumbled along about the 20-yard line, and so the football falls harmlessly to the turn for an incompletion. And on fourth down and seven, from the fourth yard line, the receiver left the ball for UAM. Both weeks have been held to just 33 yards of total offense, so far 19 passing and 14 rushing. A lot of credit to this tech team. 33 yards. Now Zachary Grizzotti waits in his own end zone to punt it back to Arkansas Tech. Darian Crooms waits just inside the midfield strike. Bit of a breeze at Grizzotti's back. He gets the punt away. It is a spiral. Crooms has it go off his chest. Loose ball and a scramble for it. And it looks like Arkansas Tech was able to fall on the loose ball. Mm. Very nearly a second turnover for Arkansas Tech, but coming in to save the day for the Wonder Boys and recovering that loose ball for Arkansas Tech. It looks like it was Corey Fields. Corey Fields able to recover that fumble for Arkansas Tech. So it ends up being for Grizzotti a punt of some 55 yards. And Arkansas Tech will start first and 10 from its own 33-yard line. Wonder Boy's very fortunate to be in possession of the football right now. Quarterback Tay Gatewood has completed three of four passes so far for 41 yards. Brings Corbin Humphrey in motion. Hands it off to him. Humphrey runs around right in. 
Tackle made for UA Monticello by Jacarius Scott. But not before Humphrey has a big gainer over the 40 yard line. About nine yards. Out to the 42. It'll be second down and one for Arkansas Tech. We go under three minutes to play in the first quarter. Dayton Keller checks in tight end for Arkansas Tech. No score as of yet between the Wonder Boys and the Bowl Eagles. Eight of the 11 Great American Conference meetings between these two programs have been decided by seven points or less. UAM seven and four against Arkansas Tech during the GAC era. Hand off to Deuce Wise. Wise tries to go up the middle. And it looks like he might have enough for an Arkansas Tech first down based on the initial spot. No, yep, I think, well, I still haven't said for sure. Now they say bring the chains there. on up. There it is. First down for Arkansas Tech and a better way realty first down up to the 43 yard line. Arkansas Tech, first down. Boys, as Dayton Keller checks out. will be down under two minutes to go in the scoreless first quarter for the Wonder Boys snap it on first and 10 from their own 43. Arkansas Tech with thus far some 70 yards of total offense. Gatewood sends Deuce Wise in motion. Gatewood throws across the middle, in and out of the hands of Matthew Rivera. Started running before he caught it. And as a result, it's an incomplete pass. It'll be second down and 10 now, Arkansas Tech from its own 43 yard line. You might have heard some turf steps. Matthew Rivera, the intended receiver, came into the day with 124 career receptions for 1,456 yards, including six catches for 48 yards last week in the win at Southwestern Oklahoma State. Rivera in his second season at Arkansas Tech after playing two seasons at Presbyterian College in South Carolina. Second and 10 Wonder Boys from their own 43. Gatewood, quarterback draw, goes up the middle, running to his right, and he'll be upended at the 50-yard line. Tackle made for UA Monticello by Greg Hooks. Hooks able to get Gatewood to the turf Stop at the UAM 49 two, yard line. It is a gain on the play for Arkansas Tech of eight, and it makes it third down and two Wonder Boys. One minute and 22 seconds to go, first quarter. No score as of yet. On third down and two. It'll be Gatewood at quarterback. Needs the UAM 47 yard line. Jory on chase in motion. Gatewood's gonna run it. Goes right up the middle and is wrapped up short of the line to gain. Tackle made for UA Monticello by Johnny Taylor, the freshman defensive lineman out of New Orleans. He's able to stop Gatewood back at the 50 for a loss of one. It's fourth down and three. And Aaron Wynn will line up in punt formation. The Wonder Boys have yet to run a fake punt this year. Right now, Wynn is trying to punt right into the teeth of what is about a 15 to 29 hour win. This is probably the strongest breeze we've seen all afternoon. And it comes at an inopportune moment as Wynn will have to punt right into the teeth of it. Here in the waning moments of the first quarter. Wynn gets it away, bit of a line drive kick, trying to kick it right through that win. It hits an Arkansas Tech coverage man, so that's where UAM will get the football as it hit a cover man for Arkansas Tech. I believe it may have been the deep snapper, Gregor Jones, right in the back at the 18-yard line, a 32-yard punt, and UAM will take over first and 10 at its own 18 with 13 seconds to go in the first quarter. And Kelly, the best thing you can say right now is the Wonder Boys are controlling the field position, and if you keep doing that, it normally leads to good things. You know, that was a great punt in that win right there, so you know, it actually hit our player on 17, but they're going to get an extra yard there. Oh, my. But I guess first touching is so probably where we secure the ball is probably a That's probably a good Buddy Taylor in the shotgun. He hands it off. Running up the middle, Tristan Smith. Smith will be tackled short of the line again up to the 28-yard line, a pickup of eight. And that will be the final play of the first quarter. After 15 minutes at Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium in Russellville, there is no score between Arkansas Tech and UAM. Here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we will step aside for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. Mr. Brake and Lube wants you to know when it comes to your engine, not all motor oils are created equal. That
That's why they only offer name brand motor oils that you can trust, like Pinzol, Castrol, Mobile One, and more. So don't pay top dollar for cheap generics. And if you're looking for work, Mr. Brank and Lube is hiring with all training provided and competitive pay. So call 219-5438 or visit 1415 East Main Street. Mr. Brank and Lube, your one-stop maintenance shop. Mr. Brank and Lube is an equal opportunity employer. I want to pass along best wishes to the Arkansas Tech Frontier Boys golf team, which will be in action Monday and Tuesday at Kicking Bird Golf Course in Edmond, Oklahoma, for the Super Regional Preview. Golden Suns golf team idle this week. They will wrap up the fall portion of their schedule October 23rd and 24th at the Tulsa Cup. Golden Suns will be competing at Forest Ridge Golf Club, and golf club over in the Tulsa area. That will be the fall season finale for the Golden Suns. The Wonder Boys will also be in that tournament in Tulsa, October 23rd and 24th. Be sure to go to ArkansasTechSports.com to read more about both Arkansas Tech golf team and everything else that's going on with Arkansas Tech athletics, including the news this week of the preseason Great American Conference men's basketball poll. Head coach Mark Downey and the Wonder Boys picked to finish second in the EAC this season. And that is the highest preseason selection for the Arkansas Tech men's basketball program since the 2017-2018 season. Congratulations, Coach Downing. He's, 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 he worked hard over the last two or three years to get to this point, so let's hope that it pays off and that they can stay healthy. Buddy Taylor hands it off on first down, but not for much, as Tristan Smith tried the middle. And the middle was filled by, among Tristan others, Matthew yeah, Minnix of Arkansas Tech. Braxton Johnson, of course, as usual, was there. Along with Javon Love, tackle is made at the 29-yard line. And it's going to be third down and one for UA Monticello. Just underway in the second quarter. No score out of yet between Arkansas Tech and UA. No Eagles are going to direct snap at this time to Giovanni Gibson, a freshman wide receiver. It appears, no, actually, he's going to be the running back, and they'll snap it to Lee. My, my apologies. Arlie Lee will take the direct snap. He brings a man in motion. Lee runs right. First down and some more, but not a lot more, as he gets out to the 35-yard line, a gain of six on third down and one, maybe even a gain of seven out to the 36-yard line. Either way, it's a big Arlie play Lee for UA Monticello first down, and the Bull Weevils maintain possession here early in the second quarter. It will be enough for a first and ten. A new spot at the 36-yard line. Arlie Lee has been an effective runner and lining up to take that direct snap regularly a wide receiver for UAM. And he's one of those guys, they want him to touch the football as often as possible. Buddy Taylor, the UAM quarterback, five of nine passing for 18 yards thus far, awaits the snap. He will hand it off, running left, Tristan Smith. Smith finds some running room out over the 40, the 45, and up to the 47 yard line. It'll be a gain of 11. First down. Bull Weevils have moved the football out to midfield here just by keeping it on the ground. UAM came into the day. Seventh in the conference. I should say sixth in the conference in rushing offense at just over 123 yards per game. On first down and 10, they hand it off. And again, some running room up the middle for UA Monticello's. Tristan Smith, some hard charging running by Smith down to the Arkansas Tech 45 yard line. A pickup of eight, and it'll be second down and two UAM. Defending the run has not been the Wonder Boys' strength so far this year. Arkansas Tech allowing just under 222 rushing yards per game, which is next to last in the conference. This time Taylor will throw it. Looking deep, it is incomplete, short of his intended receiver, LaCedric Smith. Flag on the play. Penalty flag is back up closer to the line of scrimmage, so not likely to be pass interference. Now the referee will let us know. An eligible receiver downfield for UA Monticello. So that'll move the football back to the midfield stripe. And there it'll be second down and seven for UA. 12 minutes and 33 seconds to go in the second quarter. Stay with us at halftime. Bring you the halftime University Marching Band, Arkansas's Band of Distinction. Last home game for the Wonder Boys for a while. The next two weeks are on the road at Washita next Saturday afternoon. And then at East Central the Saturday after that. Next time we're back here at Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium. It'll be for homecoming on Saturday, November the 4th. 
A 4 p.m. kickoff on that November 4th game against Southeastern Oklahoma State. Buddy Taylor rolling right, throwing downfield. Man wide open, catch is made inside the 30. Down with it shortly thereafter for UA Monticello is Arlie Lee. Lee with the catch at the Arkansas Tech 27-yard line. It is a gain of 23 yards and another UA Monticello first down. The Bull Weevils fifth first down of this opening half. With 12 11 to go in a scoreless second quarter, the Bowl Weevils ready to go again. Oh, Taylor takes the snap. Lobs it deep near side for Isaiah Cross. Cross makes it over the shoulder catch. He goes out of bounds with it inside the Arkansas Tech 10. They will spot him down at the five with a gain of 23. And it is first and goal. You on the center. And the Bowl Weevils with a serious threat to strike first here this afternoon in Russellville. Just a good throw. Especially into that win. Yes, it was. Buddy Taylor with four wide receivers takes the snap. Good blitz pick up on the right side, but Taylor throws incomplete. He was throwing it toward the goal line for Isaiah Cross. But the Wonder Boys had it defended well. And the incompletion will make it second down and goal. Arkansas Tech shuttles in for Trey defender. Trey White, Blake Brown among them. Braxton Johnson and Kyle Green also a front here for Arkansas Tech. Right defensive end spot for Arkansas Tech. It's Laverne Floyd. So it's second and goal for the Bull Weavers. Line of scrimmage is the Arkansas Tech five. Man in motion. They will hand it off. Trying to get around left end, but never making it for UA Monticello was the ball carrier. The Wonder Boys did a great job with the pursuit, forcing him toward the boundary. As Giovanni Gibson, the ball carrier, forced out of bounds for a loss of one back to the Arkansas Tech six. And it's third down and goal UAM from there. Again, this is a UAM offense that had scored 16 touchdowns and 18 red zone trips this season. Coming into the day, the Wonder Boys have already turned them away once. And now trying to come up with another stop deep in Arkansas Tech territory. On third down and goal from the six. Buddy Taylor takes the snap, hands it off, running right inside the five and down to the four, but no more is Tristan Smith. Big decision now for Monticello. Tackle made for Arkansas Tech by Blake Brown, Kyle Green, and Braxton Johnson. It looks like the Bull Weavers will send out the field goal unit. Zachary Grizzotti missed earlier on a 35-yard try. He hooked it left, line drive kick. This will be should be about a 21-yard field goal based on the spot. Bull Weevils huddling up. They will break that huddle in field goal formation. This will be a 21-yard try from inside the left hash mark for Zachary Grizzotti, who is two out of three on field goal tries this season. Placement is down. It's a fake. Rolling out to his right with it is Caleb Jacobs. His pass is batted down incomplete. The Wonder Boys were ready for the fake, and UAM for a second time today comes up empty in the red zone. Tyreek Jones there for Arkansas Tech with the pressure on Caleb Jacobs as he took that snap and rolled out to his right on the fake field goal, and it was Tyreek Jones who busted it up for Arkansas Tech. Can take a lot of credit for that stop right there. So let's get the offense rolling. Wait, so. You've got to imagine that there are times when Kyle Ship knows what Hud Jackson is going to think before Hud thinks it, and vice versa. Those two guys worked together for five years when Kyle was the offensive coordinator at UA Monticello. And so no two head coaches in the league know each other better than Kyle Ship and Hud Jackson. And I imagine Kyle was inside Coach Jackson's head right there looking for that fake field goal. It's a stall right now in this chess match. No score with 10-10 to go in the second quarter, and Arkansas Tech takes over at its own four-yard line. Tay Gatewood looking to the near side, throwing. It is incomplete behind his intended receiver, Adam Cousins. And it'll be second down and 10 for Arkansas Tech from its own four-yard line. Corbin Humphrey checks in at running back. Jordan Eddington is in at tight end, as is Dayton Keller. Still that same starting five for Arkansas Tech along the offensive line. Nate Burkhartsmeyer getting a start today at right tackle as Christian Moody moves from tackle to center due to the injury to Peyton Henderson preventing him from suiting up today. Hand off Humphrey. Humphrey tries the middle. He'll get a couple of yards, but no more. Michael Pope with the tackle for UAM at the six yard line after a gain of two. It is third down and eight. We go under 10 minutes to play in the second quarter. No score as of yet between Arkansas Tech and UAM. Two defenses have controlled this one. 117 yards of total offense for UAM. 74 yards of total offense for Arkansas Tech. 
The Wonder Boys have four a better way realty first downs, six first downs for the Bull Weavers. Now on third down and eight. Arkansas Tech one out of two on third down conversion tries this afternoon. Tay Gatewood, the quarterback, sends a man in motion. Gatewood fakes the handoff. Gatewood throwing to the near side, looking for Chase. It is incomplete, broken up for UA Monticello by Greg Hooks. Hooks tied for second in the Great American Conference in passes defended this year with nine. He adds to that total there. As he breaks that one up on third down and eight. If we got a flag or? There's definitely some conversation between yeah, a couple of officials. there is a flag on the far side. Let's see what he's got. Offsides on UAM, so it's not enough for a first down, but it will give the Wonder Boys another crack at third down. It'll move the football up to the... Make it a lot easier, a lot closer third down. Move it, move it up to the Arkansas Tech 11-yard line. And third and three. You're exactly right. Nine minutes and 14 seconds to go in the second quarter. The Wonder Boys with the football. Arkansas Tech has turned away two red zone scoring threats by UAM. As the Bull Weevils have missed a field goal and they've come up empty on a fake field goal thus far. Arkansas Tech trying to mount its first scoring threat of the afternoon, but forced to start from deep in its own territory. Now the penalty makes it third down and three. Line to gain is the 14. Strand Smith will take the snap. Smith goes straight ahead. He will have the A Better Way Realty first down for Arkansas Tech as he runs over the 15-yard line and all the way up to the 17. A gain of six on third down and three. The Wonder Boys get the A Better Way Realty first down. Their fifth of the game. And it's first and 10 Wonder Boys from their own 17. Tay Gatewood back in at quarterback. Deuce Wise is the running back. Matthew Rivera and Caleb Tannis are the receivers left. The receiver right is Adam Cousins. Dayton Keller shifts over to the right side of the formation. Gatewood fakes to Wise, looks to throw, complete to Cousins over the 20-yard line. He is wrapped up along about the 22-yard line by Greg Hooks. The gain on the play will be five. It'll be second down and five Wonder Boys. Second down and six Wonder Boys from their own 21 after a gain of four. Okay, four yards, we'll take it. Tannis and Rivera persist as the receivers left. Cousins into the short side of the field right. Arkansas Tech moving from our left to our right toward the south goal and the scoreboard here at Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium in Russellville. Gatewood with the snap. Gatewood with time. Throws far side short of his intended receiver, Caleb Tannis, as there were two UAM defensive backs in the area, and Gatewood knew he had to be careful with that throw, and he was. The incompletion will make it third down and six for Arkansas Tech. Oh, wait, penalty flag. Roughing the passer on UAM. It won't be third down and six. It'll be first down and 10, and a better way realty first down for Arkansas Tech on the roughing the passer call on UAM. We mentioned it earlier, the Bowl Weevils among the three most penalized teams in the Great American Conference this season. And they make a mistake there to, at least for the moment, let the Wonder Boys off the hook as it gives the Wonder Boys a fresh set of downs out at their own 36-yard line and allows Arkansas Tech considerably more breathing room to operate its offense. Seems like a long penalty. Eight wood away from the snap. He has it. Here comes some pressure. Throw across the middle is incomplete, intended for Dayton Keller. Coverage provided for UAM by Robert Iverson. As the Bull Weevils were able to break through that time with a middle blitz, getting there to apply pressure on the quarterback, it was Rima Getter of UAM. We just need to try to give him a little bit more time to find those receivers. Gatewood brings the Wonder Boys back to the line of scrimmage on second down and 10 from their own 36. Seven minutes and 44 seconds to play in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech and UAM scoreless. Jordan Eddington in motion. Hand off to Deuce Wise. Wise up the middle. He'll be stopped after a gain of a couple to the 38. Tackle made for UA Monticello by Johnny Taylor. It'll be third down and eight for Arkansas Tech. The new line of scrimmage is the Wonder Boys 38. Arkansas Tech, two out of three on third down conversion tries so far today. They've pretty regularly been looking at third down and two, third down and one, third down and eight. Is altogether another matter. 
Three receivers to the left side of the formation. Ball spotted between the hash marks. Tay Gatewood takes the snap. Looking left, throwing left, trying to find Tannis, and it is incomplete, but a pass interference call against UAM as the Monticello defensive back just reached out and grabbed Caleb Tannis and took him to the turf. And so it'll be a 15-yard penalty against UAM and a better way realty first down for Arkansas Tech. And the Wonder Boys are going to, going to advance the football into Bowl Weevil territory on the penalty to about the 47-yard line. UAM staff not very happy with that call. Claiming they were both going for the ball. Well, the UAM defensive back might have been going for the ball, but he was also going for Caleb yeah. Tannis' jersey. And he, yeah, a and little he bit got, of holding there. He got more of the jersey than he did of the football on that occasion. And so the new line of scrimmage is the UAM 47. 6.56 to go in the second quarter. No score. The Arkansas Tech offense trying to put together its first scoring threat of the game. Tay Gatewood with two receivers to his left. One of them, Jorion Chase, now comes in motion to the near side into the short side of the field. Gatewood with the football. Throws deep down the middle looking for Jordan Jackson, and he finds him at the 10, the 5, touchdown, Arkansas Tech. A 47-yard touchdown pass from Tay Gatewood to Jordan Jackson, and the Wonder Boys are on the board first this afternoon in Russellville. Well, when you want a perfect pass, that was it right there. Tay Gatewood with the 47-yard touchdown pass. It is his 10th touchdown pass of the season. Career touchdown pass number 17 for Gatewood for Jordan Jackson in his first year as an active member of the Arkansas Tech roster. It is his first touchdown reception. And now Austin Hosier will attempt the extra point, 15 of 17 on PATs this season, 46 out of 51 for his career. Gregor Jackson is the long snapper. Aaron Wynn is the holder. Hosier's extra point is on its way. It is good, and our new score with six minutes and 48 seconds to go in the second quarter is Arkansas Tech 7 and UA Monticello 0. In the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Football on the EAB Sports Network. If you pay for your own health insurance or you're looking for coverage, do not go online for quotes. You'll get endless calls from call centers and they will not stop. Instead, call Becky, the health plan lady. She can provide sound advice for your health insurance needs. Her freedom of choice plans lets you pick your doctors. No deductibles, no co-pays, and it's 30 to 60% lower cost than Obamacare. Call Becky at 479-886-2475 or go to health plan lady. Com. Quarterback, guard, running back, every position has a role in building success. If you want a position where you can build success in your own career, Lexicon is hiring welders, millwrights, and many more positions. We offer free on-the-job training through our own Lexicon University so you can learn while you earn and build the career you want. Competitive pay, a great health care plan, paid vacation, a sweet 401k plan, and more. Find out more at lexicon-inc.com slash football. It was an eight-play, 96-yard scoring drive for Arkansas Tech that consumed three minutes and 22 seconds, helped along by some penalties committed by the UAM defense, a roughing the passer and a pass interference call that gave the Wonder Boys th 33 yards on that drive. And as a result, it leads to a 47-yard touchdown pass from Tay Gatewood to Jordan Jackson, and Arkansas Tech leads seven to nothing with six minutes and 48 seconds to go in the second quarter. Now Logan Thomason will kick it back to the Bull Weevils. Thomason will do so with the wind mostly at his back. Occasionally it's a little bit of a crosswind out of the north and northwest. But if he wants to, he could very well drive this one through the end zone for a touchback with the strength of his leg. It'll come down at the five yard line Fielded there for UA Monticello and bringing it out over the 20 yard line up to the 25. It is Christian Gamage on the return. And it'll be first and 10 UA Monticello from there. With 6.41 to go in the second quarter. Tech leading 7 to nothing, and Kelly has an update from the GAC scoreboard. Down in Arkadelphia, Henderson State has scored 21 unanswered points now to take a 21 to 7 lead over Southern Arkansas. In other games, it is Southwest Oklahoma looking for their first win. They have a three to nothing lead over Oklahoma Baptist. 
It is East Central all over Northwest Oklahoma, 28 to zero in the second quarter. In Southeast Oklahoma State now, 17 to seven over Southern Nazarene. Buddy Taylor rolling right now. He's just gonna have to run with it. Matthew Minix tries to get him. He comes up just short, but then Blake Brown continues the pursuit and they take Buddy Taylor down for a loss back to the 22 yard line. A loss of three on the quarterback scramble by Taylor after the Wonder Boys had everything bottled up and covered up downfield nowhere for Buddy Taylor to throw the football. Good coverage that time. One game that we're not mentioning right now, and that's Washita at Harding, but that game will not kick off till six o'clock tonight. Yeah, that'll definitely be one to watch on hardingsports.com tonight between two nationally top 10 rank, ranked teams. Taylor under pressure, and he will go down. Quarterback sack by Kyle Green of Arkansas Tech out of Bryant, Arkansas. And we have a penalty flag tacked on the end of it. Now some pushing and shoving as a Bull Weevil offensive lineman did not care for Kyle Green's celebration after the quarterback sack, and I don't believe the official did either. Yeah, as he was blowing his whistle, and they continued on. And so that will tough one. negate the effects of the quarterback sack. It's unnecessary roughness against Arkansas Tech, and that's a shame. Yeah, Made a fine know. play and just kept playing through the whistle. Got to know when to stop. And so that will end up with the football being spotted. Up beyond the 25-yard line, up beyond the 30, they're going to put it all the way up to the 32-yard line is the initial indication from the umpire as he gets ready to set the football down. Now some discussion about where the football should be. Yeah, he marked it off wrong. The referee's going to help him out. He's going to go back and start again. If at first you do not succeed, what do you do, Kelly? I, well, I'd, on a penalty, I'd, I'd look over there where that box is. <laughs> That's where I'd mark it off from. I don't think, unless we moved, unless our, unless our stick guy moved early. But... Uh, they're now gonna, they've got it squared away. They're going to put it at the 33-yard line. That's where UAM will have it. So if you, if the result of the play had stood, if it weren't for the dead ball foul, UAM would have been facing oh, about third down and a mile from inside their own 15. Now we moved it back every yard. Now we're good, maybe. But because of the penalty, it is first and 10 UAM at its own 33. Yeah, See, we're on the 32 now. The Wonder Boys took advantage of some similar mistakes by the Bull Weevils to go on a touchdown drive a moment ago. We'll see if UAM can do the same here. Anyway, we've got to regroup there. Taylor throws it deep. Catch is made in Arkansas Tech territory. Tackled inside the 35-yard line is the UA Monticello receiver, Arlie Lee. Lee is spotted down at the Arkansas Tech 33. That is a gain of 35 yards for UA Monticello. And the Bull Weevils have it first down and 10 with just over five minutes to go until halftime. Just a big target, Arlie 6-2. Lee, or I should say Buddy Taylor ready for the snap, hands it off, trying to run up the middle, but for not much gain. It was Glenn Cage. Cage is tackled at the 31 after a pickup of two. Will Stiegel among the Wonder Boys there with the stop. Will be second down and eight. UA Monticello from the Arkansas Tech 31. Arkansas Tech leading seven to nothing on a 47-yard touchdown pass from Tay Gatewood to Jordan Jackson on the previous possession. Now the Bull Weevils trying to answer just before halftime. Yeah, passing barrage as well. Buddy Taylor in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Throws it short, complete, wide open, wide 30. 25-20, and forced out of bounds at near the 10-yard line is Tristan Smith, who came out of the backfield undetected by the Arkansas Tech defense. And he's able to advance the football all the way down to the 10, a gain of 21 for UAM. And it is first and goal bowl weevils. But this is where the Arkansas Tech defense has been at its best so far today, turning away two UAM red zone scoring chances and leaving the bowl weevils empty on both occasions. Taylor hands it off to Tristan Smith. He tries the middle, spins off the first couple of defenders, drives the pile forward all the way down to the one yard line. A tremendous individual effort there by Tristan Smith. Helps pushed along a little bit by one of his offensive linemen is helping advance him. It was Nathan Jewell. All the way down to the one yard line. It's second down and gold UAM from there. They had some confusion there between Buddy Taylor and the running back Tristan Smith as it was a, an option play for Taylor as to whether he was going to hand it off or keep it. And they more or less both had hands on the football as they stumbled down for no gain at the one yard line. I do believe they maintained possession. 
officials are going to have to get control of the game here. A lot of, a lot of mouthing and extracurricular activity going on. Blake Brown of Arkansas Tech is down injured. Duke Walden will come out to take a look at him. Here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we will take a 30-second break. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info, and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person, or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. This is Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys Football on River Country 102.3 KCJC at Dardanelle, Russellville. So now it's third down and goal UAM from the one yard line. Hand off to Tristan Scott. He runs left and he's into the end zone. Got a penalty flag now. Tristan Smith on the carry. Ball start, I believe. Wide receiver out here on the left side. And it is indeed a ball start against the Bull Weevils. So that will negate the Tristan Smith touchdown run from one yard. It'll move the football back to the six yard line. And from there, it'll be third down and goal once more for UA Monticello. So another chance here for the Arkansas Tech defense to come up with yet another stop inside the red zone. They have been so good at that so far this afternoon. Turning away two previous UAM scoring threats. Now we're down to three minutes and 31 seconds to go in the second quarter with Arkansas Tech leading seven to nothing. Buddy Taylor will be the UAM quarterback. Taylor will line up the shotgun. Joined in the backfield by Tristan Smith as running back. Taylor hands to Smith. Smith runs left and a sure tackle made for Arkansas Tech by Jiren Stewart. Then he gets some help from his friends as they have got the ball carrier Smith stopped for a gain of one. And for the third time today, we will see the UAM field goal unit come onto the field. This is a group that had not attempted a field goal since week one. Now they've been on the field three times in the first half this afternoon. They're making up for lost time. This will be a 23-yard field goal if they go through with it. Remember, they, they think they'll the try. Time. I think they'll try it this time. We go under three minutes to play in the half. The kicker, Zachary Grizzotti, is two out of three on field goal tries this season. The holder, Caleb Jacobs. Spot is down, kick is away, it is good, and our new score with two minutes and 43 seconds to play in the second quarter is Arkansas Tech 7 and UA Monticello 3 in the Alethus Realty broadcast booth. We step aside for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Football on the EAB Sports Network. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at A Better Way Realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at A Better Way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with A Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A Better Way Realty. Real estate done a better way. Experienced installers needed. That's right. Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air is needing experienced installers. Candidates must have a minimum of two years experience with HVAC installation, must have a valid driver's license, and be able to pass a drug test. Serious inquiries only. Contact Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air at 479-964-4004 or drop off a resume at their office. Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air is an equal opportunity employer. The UA Monticello scoring drive was nine plays, 69 yards, three minutes and 58 seconds, resulting in the 23-yard field goal by Zachary Grizzotti and cutting the Arkansas Tech lead to seven to three. Now on to kick it back to Arkansas Tech. It is Dylan Duhon of UA Monticello. Duhon wears number 34. He is a freshman out of Louisiana. Back deep for Arkansas Tech on the near side. It is Mason Ross and on the far side, it is Darian Crooms. It's gonna come down to Ross at the 10 yard line out over the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 down the near boundary. And he's forced out of bounds by the kicker, Duhon. 
but not before Mason Ross Mason able to return Ross that kickoff all the way right. out to the Arkansas yeah, Tech, about the 45-yard line. We'll see where they spot it. They're going to maybe give them a little more 49. than that. All the way up to the 49. We'll take it. That's where Arkansas Tech will go on offense following the 39-yard kickoff return by Mason Ross. It comes with 2.35 to go in the half and gives the chance of one gives the Wonder Boys a chance to add to their 7-3 lead before the break. And then remember, Arkansas Tech will also get the football first to begin the third quarter. Yeah, got all three timeouts left. Gatewood hands to Corbin Humphrey. Humphrey up the middle. Tackle made for UA Monticello by Michael McCorvey. But Humphrey refuses to go down. McCorvey had him wrapped up. And now the pile getting pushed all the way down to the UA Monticello 40-yard line. What looked like a five-yard gain ends up being an 11-yard gain on a bit of a rugby scrum at the end of that yes, one. It, it was a rugby. All right. It is, in a better way, realty first down for Arkansas Tech. The ninth of the first half for the Wonder Boys, and they want to go again. Gatewood again gives to Humphrey. Humphrey up the middle. He is taken down on a submarine tackle. McCorvey this time was sure to get Humphrey to the ground as soon as he could. And he makes the tackle, McCorvey does, at the 36-yard line of UA Monticello. After a gain of four, we go under two minutes to play in the first half. Arkansas Tech leading 7-3. to three. Wonder Boys looking for their first win over an in-state opponent since September 9th of 2017. Tay Gatewood. Throwing left, Rivera makes the catch, and he is forced out of bounds. Tackle made for UA Monticello by Jalen Gillard. He makes the tackle and appears to be shaken up over on the far sideline. Yeah, got a player down. And so they will blow their whistles to take a look at him while they do that. Here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, we're more than just tires. Consistent, responsive, honest and fair. What makes us different? We're the ones who care. Trust our experience to know what you need. Professional and fast, see what we mean. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, we're more than just tires. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main, Russellville. One minute and 22 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech 7 and UAM 3 from Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium in Russellville. Invite you to go to atualumni.com slash homecoming. Time to start making those plans. For the weekend of Friday, November 3rd and Saturday, no November 4th, one inside tip I'll give you. If you want to get signed up for the Homecoming Golf Classic, you better do it soon. It's filling up quickly. Tay Gatewood on third down takes the snap, throws short and complete to Ryan Wilkerson, makes one man miss, and then dives down short of the line to gain at the UAM 32-yard line. Fourth and short. It's a gain of four. Have to go for it here, wouldn't you think? The Wonder Boys will send in the thick cat package. On fourth down and two from the UAM 32. Much too windy of a day to ask Austin Hosier to attempt a 49 yard field goal. So the Wonder Boys will go for it on fourth down and two. Well, the officials were back there like they were going to try a field goal. Gatewood takes the snap. Quarterback keeper, Gatewood goes left and it looks like he should Boy, have enough. It's gonna be real a, close though. Not a great spot. But he needed like he got past the 30. He needed two yards. I believe that's pretty much exactly what he got, and he did. And a better way realty first down for Arkansas Tech on a gain of two on fourth down and two. The larger Gate story right now is the clock the continues carry. to roll, down to 28 seconds left in the half, and the Wonder Boys will use a timeout. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast booth in 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. Farmers Co-op located in Russellville, don't forget their Danville location. Mike Apples along, Mike, it is that time of year when feed is very, very important. It sure is, and uh, make sure that uh, you've got your animal's needs taken care of, uh, protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, when it comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op, we're located on East Main and Russellville. Don't forget their Danville location. 28 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech 7, UA Monticello 3. The Wonder Boys will have the football first down and 10 at the UAM 30-yard line when play resumes. 
Now here comes the referee with some information for us. Is now he's going to me now they're going to measure. So it's he, Coach Jackson over there has finally convinced them. Even though the looks like the line to gain is on the line, the ball is on the line. He wants a measurement. Well, and he may be thinking that if if the measurement doesn't go his way, he may be thinking about challenging the spot. That may be, that may also be on his mind. We'll see what happens here with 28 seconds left in the half. They stretch the chains, and it is. Referee takes a long look at it. He says first down. They don't like it on the UAM sideline. They don't like it one little bit. But it is enough for an Arkansas Tech first down in the estimation of the referee. And Coach Hud Jackson is not even a little bit pleased over on the far sideline. He, as he eyed it up, he really felt like it was short. So it is first and 10, Arkansas Tech, after all that, after all. The line of scrimmage is the UAM 30-yard line. It's another Arkansas Tech. Tay Gatewood will take the snap. He's joined the backfield by Ryan Wilkerson. Matthew Rivera and Jordan Jackson are the receivers right. Jackson already has one touchdown reception today. Caleb Tannis is the receiver left. They wind the clock into motion. 25 seconds left in the half. Gatewood takes the snap. Fakes the handoff to Wilkerson. Rolling left. Gatewood throws. It is incomplete. Batted away at the last possible instant for UA Monticello by Taylor Collins, who was able to get his fingertips on that football and knock it away from Matthew Rivera, the intended receiver. Intended the in Rivera incompletion will make it second down and 10 now for Arkansas Tech from second the UAM 30. Stops the clock with 15 seconds to go in the half. The Wonder Boys have two timeouts remaining. If he'd been able to release it just a hair early, it might have been a great play. Gatewood will work from the shotgun. Gatewood takes the snap. Has time, lobs it toward the end zone. It is going to be incomplete, out of bounds, as it was a wrestling match inside the five-yard line between Caleb Tannis of Arkansas Tech and Greg Cooks of UA Monticello. Cooks caught the football, but he did so out of bounds. It's an incomplete pass, and it's third down and 10 now for Arkansas Tech at the UAM 30. Nine seconds left in the half. Much too much of a windy day, really an unpredictable wind at that, to ask Austin Hosier to attempt a field goal from here right now. We'll see what the Wonder Boys would do if fourth down comes to pass. Gatewood in the shotgun, takes the snap, throws across the middle, catch is made, first down, Jory on chase. He is forced toward the far boundary. And they blow the whistles with three seconds left in the half. Chase able to get out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 15. It's in a better way realty. First down for Arkansas Tech. And now, on a much more manageable attempt, a 32-yard try from the left hash mark, we will see Austin Hosier out of a hole by Aaron Wynn. They're going to take an extra yard here back and make it a 33-yard try. Now whistles. And I believe Arkansas Tech has used a timeout. Back in 30 seconds, this is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. Fall is here and winter is on the way. Burris into Market Russellville wants you to think about upgrading to more efficient doors and windows to help offset those heating costs. And it's not a bad time to think about upgrading your home office furniture for when you get stuck working from home. Burris into Market, 113 South Arkansas, Russellville, or phone them at 968 4888. Burris into Market, proud supporters of Russellville High School and Arkansas Tech University. Kelly, tell us about uh, trying to kick a field goal with a crosswind as a, as a right-footed kicker coming from your right to your left. Right to the left, you want to aim right into the inside of that right goal post. Because you know that wind's going to push it a little bit to the left. But don't aim too far to the right. It'll be a 33-yard try by Austin Hosier on the final play of the half to make it a seven-point lead for Arkansas Tech at the intermission. Snap. Hold kick, it is away, and it is good. And our score at halftime at Simmons Bank Field at Bone Stadium in Russellville is Arkansas Tech 10 and UA Monticello 3 in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth. We step aside for a three-minute break and then come back with halftime. Wonder Boys up by seven at the break. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. 
taking care of families. That's what the folks at C&D Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need C&D Drugstore on the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60-year tradition. At Centennial Bank, we believe serving our community goes beyond a sustained with financial needs. We pride ourselves on being community connected and customer focused. Supporting our community. On the field representing Legends Resort and Casino, Jennifer McGill and Stacy Buckholz. They are receiving our game day ball from VP for Advancement Jason Geichen and Athletic Director Abby Davis. Thank you, Jennifer, Stacy, and everyone at Legends Resort and Casino for your generous support of Arkansas Tech University Athletics. And now, Arkansas Tech fans, we have a very special on-field performance for your entertainment. Earlier this morning, the Arkansas Tech University cheerleaders hosted a youth clinic with over 60 participants. The youth cheerleaders learned jumps, motion technique, tumbling, stunting, cheers, chants, and a dance. They are excited to showcase their dance for you today for your halftime entertainment. So great and gold nation. Let's give a big Arkansas Tech While there are treatment options available, the best medicine is prevention. Just don't do it if you or someone you know needs help. Just go to meovermeth.org. Stop it before it starts. Choose Me Over Meth, sponsored by CSI Region 6 Prevention. Are you looking for a great place to work that offers great pay and benefits? Where well, you can make an impact in a safe, clean environment? ConAgra is looking for motivated, energetic people to join their team. ConAgra is recruiting industrial maintenance technicians to fill openings on all shifts. Positions start at twenty-five sixty-one an hour, plus a shift differential. Experience is required, so for immediate consideration, apply online at ConAgraBrands.com forward slash careers. That's ConAgraBrands.com forward slash careers. ConAgra is an equal opportunity employer. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees, products, and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479 272 40 69. Back with you at halftime from Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium in Russellville, where the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys enjoy a 10 to 3 halftime lead over UA Monticello. Let's take a look at some of the numbers so far. The Bowl Weevils have 176 yards of total offense compared to 171 total yards thus far for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys 111 passing yards, 60 rushing yards. UAM 118 passing and 58 rushing yards. UAM has been penalized eight times for 60 yards. Arkansas Tech one penalty for 15 yards, nine first downs for UA Monticello. Arkansas Tech has 11, a better way realty first downs thus far. Arkansas Tech three out of five on third down conversion tries. UA Monticello is two out of seven on third down conversions thus far. UAM has only converted one one of its three red zone scoring opportunities. Arkansas Tech one for one in that scenario. Bull Weevils with a slight edge in time of possession. 15 minutes and 47 seconds for UAM compared to 14 minutes and 13 seconds for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys have thus far been guilty of the game's only turnover, but UAM was unable to turn it into points. Individual leaders for Arkansas Tech, Tay Gatewood, seven of 14 passing for 107 yards. Corbin Humphrey has rushed five times for 24 yards. Jordan Jackson, two catches for 74 yards, including the 47-yard touchdown pass from Tay Gatewood, the only touchdown of the game thus far. Buddy Taylor, at nine of 14 passing for 118 yards for UAM. The Bull Weevils leading rusher thus far, Tristan Smith with eight carries for 39 yards, and Isaiah Cross with four catches for 30 yards. 
and Arlie Lee with three catches for 56 yards to lead UAM from a receiving standpoint. Defensively for Arkansas Tech, Ben Stiegel has five tackles, Blake Brown with four for UA Monticello. It is Michael McCorvey with five tackles and Jacarius Scott with four. Those are the leaders from the first half. Arkansas Tech with the lead on the scoreboard, 10 to three. Here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we will step aside for a two minute break and then come back with the halftime performance by the Arkansas Tech University Marching Band, Arkansas's Band of Distinction, Wonder Boys by seven at halftime. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. Fowler's Athletes Corner, your high performance athletic store for quality athletic footwear and apparel, features Nike, Under Armour, The North Face, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kabu, Keen, and many, many more. Fellers invite you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined experience, the familiar faces at Fellers can help you with all your athletic needs. Fellers Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. Watch your money grow with First State Bank's My Rewards Checking. Earn 4% APY on balances up to $25,000 and nationwide ATM fee refunds. Plus, First State Bank makes banking easy with mobile banking and drive through banking 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Don't wait. Make the switch. Earn more interest with My Rewards Checking. Now, qualifications must be met to earn 4% APY. If qualifications are not met, the account will earn 0.05 APY that statement cycle. First State Bank, member FDIC. Hey, it's Drew Mitchell for Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery. Lakeside is really proud this year to be sponsoring our local sports all throughout the River Valley. They're committed to the area. It's just another way they show that. When you're in the market for dentures, wisdom teeth, or whatever the case may be, remember Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery. Check out their website at lakesideoralfs.com. Lakeside Oral Surgery, helping make the broadcast of local sports throughout the River Valley possible. And Liberty Car Wash in Russellville will have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash bags in Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. That's Miller Company, a family-owned company treating you like family. Who's a part of the Miller family? And now at Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium in Russellville, the halftime performance by the Arkansas Tech University Marching Band, Arkansas's Band of Distinction.
When you have a dream, you then have a choice. You can throw in the towel when the road gets difficult, or you can use that towel to wipe the sweat off your face and make it happen. Our achievements live just on the other side of our determination. I'm afraid, all right? You want to hear me say it? You want to break me down? I am afraid. For the first time in my life, I'm afraid. This is when we must be stronger than the obstacles that stand in our path. To do so, we must be willing to do what some others won't. We must be willing to make the tough choice. Because as the great poet once said, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged the punishments destroyed. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul, my soul. football on the EAB Sports Network. Your friends at Miller Roofing. See them on South Arkansas and Russellville and follow them on Facebook. At Bill Wright Autoplex in Russellville. We know you have many places to buy a car. Our competitive pricing and no pressure sales team has made us a premier MC and Chevrolet dealer in the River Valley for almost 50 years. Our impressive inventory is you guys killed it. Shop online 24 7 at Bill Wright Autoplex. We're simplified buying process. Trust Bill Wright Great inventory, great prices, and an overall great buying experience. Exit 84 off I 40, Russell. Lunch breaks are too short, and these days we usually have more than lunch to accomplish in that small window. Get your favorite barbecue fast from Ridgewood Brothers with takeout during lunch only by ordering online. Order lunch for takeout Thursday through Saturday from 11 to 3 online only. Visit Ridgewood Brothers Barbecue on Facebook to place your online takeout order for lunch. You can even get 20% off by using promo code BIGGAME20 at checkout by ordering online with Ridgewood Brothers Barbecue on Facebook. Why trust River Valley Tinting and Glass? Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family-owned business, and they take care of their customers like family, too. So remember, your local auto, residential, and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you could always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and glass a lot goes into taking care of your property you need equipment with more reliability durability and versatility built in like number one selling Kubota BX and L series compact tractors 
Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. In the River Valley, see River Valley Tractor on Weir Road in Russellville. No tricks, just treats. An R&R &R tire service. Right now, just $5 gets you started on any set of Yokohama tires. Like a new set of Yokohama Ascend GT tires. Plus, you'll get six months, same as cash. And everyone's approved. And that's not all. You'll get free installation, free lifetime balance, rotation, and 12 months, 24-hour roadside assistance. R&R &R Tire Express. Now open on East Parkway Drive next to Starbucks in Russellville. Before we head to the second half here at Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium with Arkansas Tech leading UAM 10-3, here's a look at the GAC scoreboard with Mr. Kelly Davis. All these are your halftime scores. It is Henderson State. They gave up 14 to Southern Arkansas, and SAU had tied the game 21-21, to -21, but Henderson State scores right before the half, and they take a 28-21 lead going into the second half of that game. Oklahoma Baptist 10, Southwest Oklahoma 3. Southwest Oklahoma looking for their first win of the season. It is Southeast Oklahoma 17, Southern Nazarene 13. Both of those uh, teams pretty equal. Southeastern 2 and 4, Southern Naz at 3 and 3. And East Central is looking like they're going to deny Northwest Oklahoma their first win of the season. East Central 35, Northwest Oklahoma 0, and that is at the half as well. There's a lot of good games. Southern Arkansas and Henderson State both at 5-1 and one on the season coming into this contest, so a lot to play for there. And tonight, like Sam mentioned, the big one of the GAC this week, it is the 6-0 and o teams facing each other as Washita Baptist travels to Searcy to take on Harding University, and you can catch that on Harding's website, hardingsports.com. Two teams ranked in the top 10 in the nation meeting tonight in Searcy. Washita ranked fifth in the country. Harding ranked ninth in the nation in NCAA Division II football, so it should be another epic clash between the Bisons and the Washita Tigers tonight. Here in Russellville, the second half gets underway with a short kick off the foot of Dylan Duhon of UA Monticello. Fair catch called for and made for Arkansas Tech by Jude Bartholomew. And Arkansas Tech will begin first and 10 from long about its own 25 yard line. The story of this game so far, the job that Arkansas Tech's defense has done inside the red zone, turning away two UAM scoring threats. UAM had only come away from the red zone without points on one occasion all season coming into the day. And the Wonder Boys defense has done that to UAM twice so far today. And those two stops inside the red zone, the biggest reason why Arkansas Tech enjoys a 10 to three lead as we begin the third quarter in Russellville. A handoff to Arkansas Tech's Corbin Humphrey. He tries the middle, but never found any running room. And then we're gonna have an unnecessary roughness call against UAM as they picked Corbin up and flipped him down to the turf. And that was altogether uncalled for. Yeah, a little unnecessary. This will be for UA Monticello the ninth penalty for 75 yards already in this game. Unnecessary roughness, and that will be tacked on to the end of that play. It'll be an automatic, a better way realty first down for Arkansas Tech, and the Wonder Boys get to have the football at their own 40-yard line as a result of that unnecessary roughness call against UA Monticello. It was daily on Arthur on the tackle and on the penalty. Yeah, strictly a safety thing in that case. And off to Humphrey, he'll try the middle again. Kind of darts to his left a little bit, and that got him a couple of yards, but no more, as he was met and driven backwards by Damaris White. And it'll be second down and eight for Arkansas Tech from its own 42-yard line. One of the most important factors in this second half for Arkansas Tech is not going to be getting caught retaliating when UAM does or says something. That's, that's yeah, going to be as important as anything else. Yeah, and they have already started that. After that play right there, Another classic example. So the just, it's definitely an exercise yep. in turning the other cheek here the rest of the way yep. for Arkansas Tech. Pistol formation. Tay Gatewood, the quarterback. Corbin Humphrey, the running back. Rivera and Jordan Jackson are the receivers right. Caleb Tannis, the receiver left. Now Rivera goes in motion toward the far side of the field. 
Eddington shifts, Humphrey shifts, mass confusion, timeout, Arkansas Tech. 13 minutes and 55 seconds to go in the third quarter, Arkansas Tech 10, UA Monticello 3. In the Alathis Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys football on the EAB Sports Network. Duval's Affordable Portable Buildings, the River Valley's oldest full-service portable buildings dealer. You'll find Burnett Affordable Buildings and CNH carports for garages, barns, carport sheds, and more. At Duval's Affordable Portable Buildings, they believe in high-quality buildings that last and excellent customer service that makes a difference. Visit Duval's Affordable Portable Buildings.com or just stop by 4151 South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville today. Boy, Kelly, those second half timeouts in a close game are so precious. You hate to have to waste one there just because you're unable to get lined up correctly, but that's the fate for the Wonder Boys here ahead of this second down and eight play. Boy, minute, minute, 45 seconds into, into this second half, you got to use one. So let's hope, let's hope that we don't need it late in the game. Christian Moody will snap it to Tay Gatewood on second down and eight. Arkansas Tech from its own 42-yard line. Wonder Boys leading 10 to three early in the third quarter. Gatewood takes the snap. Looking right, throwing. It is caught by Jordan Jackson. He's out of bounds short of the line to gain. Forced out at the 48-yard line by Curtis Jones of UA Monticello. And it will be third down and two, Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys, three out of five on third down conversions so far today. Line to gain is the 50. Gatewood will be the quarterback. Joined in the backfield by Jordan Eddington. See if he gives it to Eddington here on third and short. He does. Eddington up the middle, pushing the pile toward the line to gain. And looks like he will have enough for an A Better Way Realty first down for Arkansas Tech. As he is at least to the 50, if not to the UAM 49. And he only needed the 50 to pick up the first down. What he picked up there? Deuce Wise will check back in at running back for Arkansas Tech. Caleb Tannis, Matthew Rivera, Jordan Jackson will be the wide receiver. Wonder Boys moving from our left to our right. They in the third quarter for the South goal and the scoreboard. Let's call it the UAM 49, a gain of three for Jordan Eddington on third down and two. And the Wonder Boys improved to four out of six on third down conversion tries today. Now on first and 10 from the UAM 49. Gatewood throws deep looking for Jackson. It is going to be pass interference against UA Monticello as the defensive back Michael McCorby pushed Jackson toward the boundary. While the ball is in the air, you cannot do that. It'll move the football down to the UAM 34 yard line. For the Bull Weevils, it'll be the 10th penalty for 90 yards. The Wonder Boys have only been penalized once for 15 yards. And it is going to be first and 10 Arkansas Tech at the UAM 34 on another free A Better Way Realty first down for Arkansas Tech. You know, many times you see a lot of contact and, and people say, well, how come that wasn't a penalty? Well, if, if both players have their head turned looking for the ball, there's going to be that contact and they're going to let it play on. No advantage, uh, you know, taken by the penalty. Either player. Yeah, there was never any indication on that play that McCorvey was yeah, making a play on the football. Never looked around and he just, you know, pushed the player out of bounds, basically. Tay Gatewood, the quarterback. Deuce Wise, the running back on first and 10 at the UAM 34. Jordan Eddington in motion. Now movement by the Arkansas Tech left tackle, Jason Richardson. That'll be a left, or that'll be a false start against Arkansas Tech. Only the second penalty of the day for the Wonder Boys. It'll be first and 15 now from the UAM 39. Jorion Chase is back in at wide receiver along with Matthew Rivera. So the Wonder Boys left four wideouts here, Jackson, Rivera, Tannis, and Chase. And then the running back, Deuce Wise, is also going to go out wide. He'll go almost all the way to the boundary on the far side of the field. So Tay Gatewood alone in the backfield on first down and 15 from the UAM 39. 12-36 to go in the third. Tech leading 10-3. Gatewood with the snap, throws right side, catch made at the 35-yard line by Matthew Rivera. He is surrounded by two goal weavings at the 30 and stopped there after a gain of nine. Tackle made for UA Monticello by Robert Iverson and Michael McCorvey. 
It is going to be now second down and six for Arkansas Tech. Behind the game is the UAM 24. 12 minutes, 10 seconds to go in the third. Arkansas Tech got the scoring started on a 47-yard touchdown pass from Tay Gatewood to Jordan Jackson midway through the second quarter. And then the two teams traded field goals over the final three minutes of the half to give us the 10-3 Arkansas Tech lead that is the situation at the moment on the scoreboard. Gatewood rolling right. He's going to run with it. Cuts to his left inside the 25, and then is tackled near the 24-yard line. For first down. Stop made for UA Monticello. Gatewood on by Bailey and Arthur. Will be enough for another a better way realty first down for Arkansas Tech. 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 Dayton Keller will line up in the slot left. Caleb Tannis out wide beyond him. Jordan Eddington, the other Wonder Boys tight end, is lined up in the slot right. Jordan Jackson out beyond him. Now Eddington in motion. On first and 10 from the UAM 24. Gatewood fakes the handoff, throws for Jackson. Back shoulder throw. Catch is made by Jackson. He is forced out of bounds at the five-yard line, maybe even the four. It's going to be enough for a better way realty first down on a gain of 20 on the pass from Tay Gatewood to Jordan Jackson. Gatewood now 10 of 17 passing today for 142 yards. And for Jackson, that is his fifth catch for 100 yards. And the Wonder Boys have it first and goal at the four. Yeah, there again, once again, the UAM defender never turned around, so he didn't know where the ball was. Easy catch. First and goal, Wonder Boys at the four. Tay Gatewood in the shotgun. Corbin Humphrey, the running back. Gatewood hands to Humphrey. Humphrey runs left, gets inside the two and down to the one. They may spot him down at the two. They may say his knee, his knee went down there. So it'll be second and goal for the Wonder Boys for the two. A good lead block provided there for Arkansas Tech to help create that two-yard run. Take a player down. A.O. Johnson out in front of Corbin Humphrey is, is the ball carrier on that one. A.O. Johnson with the lead block. And let's see, the injured goal weevils back to his feet, so we'll keep it here. Ten minutes and 15 seconds to go in the third. Arkansas Tech 10, UAM 3. Might have been Michael Corby, number seven for UAM. Wonder Boys have huddled up here on the near, near side expecting an injury timeout, but since the bull weevil was so quick to leave the field, the officials are going to go ahead and wind that clock into motion now. The Wonder Boys will have to have this make this be a quick yeah, conversation. They better realize it's running. Play clock is rolling now. It's still a long way to go. Still 30 on the play clock as the Wonder Boys come back onto the field. It will be Tay Gatewood at quarterback and Jordan Eddington, the running back, on second down and goal from the UAM two-yard line. Wonder Boys trying to add to a 10-3 lead. Gatewood hands to Eddington. Jordan tries the middle, nothing there, bounces it outside right, shakes off one tackle, stays on his feet, and all of that running will get him one yard. And it'll be third and goal from the one. That was a tough one yard. That was a lot of work for that yard, no doubt about it. Finally getting him to the turf was Bryson LeBlanc of UA Monticello. So it's third and goal from the one. I would expect much the same formation here from Arkansas Tech and probably much the same play. Give it to Jordan Eddington and count on his six foot two, 260 inch frame to be enough to get him into the end zone. Wonder Boy's just gonna direct snap it to Jordan Eddington on third and goal from the one. Eddington with the snap. Running left, and he is into the end zone. The path was paved by lead blocks from John Washburn and Braxton Johnson as they cleared the path, and Jordan Eddington in from one yard out, and the Wonder Boys lead it 16-3 with 9.01 to go in the third quarter. It'll be Austin Hosier to attempt the extra point. And what a way to start the second half for Arkansas Tech. A nine-play, 75-yard scoring drive that took five minutes and 59 seconds and resulted in Jordan Eddington's one-yard touchdown run. It is Eddington's fourth rushing touchdown of the season and the 16th of his Arkansas Tech career. Placement is down, kick is away. It is good, and our new score with 9.01 to go in the third quarter is Arkansas Tech 17, UA Monticello 3. In the Alathis Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for a one. Because they have years of experience, knowledge, and they have a network of relationships that ensure that you get the most 
four your home. A latest Realty Russell built. 968 5668. Mr. Brake and Lube wants you to know when it comes to your engine, not all motor oils are created equal. That's why they only offer name brand motor oils that you can trust, like Pinzol, Castrol, Mobile One, and more. So don't pay top dollar for cheap generics. And if you're looking for work, Mr. Brake and Lube is hiring with all training provided and competitive pay. So call 219 5438 or visit 1415 East Main Street. Mr. Break and Lube, your one stop maintenance shop. Mr. Break and Lube is an equal opportunity employer. 17 to 3 is the Arkansas Tech lead with nine minutes and one second remaining in the third quarter following the one yard touchdown run by Jordan Eddington. And now Logan Timerson will kick it back to UA Monticello. The wind, as we get a little bit later in the afternoon, starting to become a little bit less of a factor. Be coming in from the north-northwest at between 10 and 15 miles an hour for most of the day. Now down much more close to the 5 to 10 mile per hour range. Logan Thomason set to kick it away for the Wonder Boys. Back deep for UAM. On the far side, it is Greg Hooks. It'll come down on the near side at the five yard line, fielded there by Christian Gamage. Gamage out over the 20 and up to the 25 yard line. 23 yard kickoff return. Now a little bit of extra over here near the Arkansas Tech sideline as a UAM player took down a Wonder Woman. But everybody seems to be okay with it. We will play on. Turn the other cheek, like you said. Eight minutes and 54 seconds to go in the third. Arkansas Tech up by two touchdowns. And Buddy Taylor brings the UAM defense back, or should, you should say UAM offense back onto the field. Taylor is 9 of 14 passing for 118 yards. Their leading rusher so far, Tristan Smith, with eight carries for 39 yards. Taylor wants to throw on first down, looking to the far side. It is intercepted, intercepted. picked off at the 43-yard line for Arkansas Tech by Kylan Kreitz. Kylan Kreit, the freshman out of Newport with the interception, and the Wonder Boys get the football right back as they force the turnover with 8.48 to go in the third. For Arkansas Tech's Kylan Kreit, who wears number 29. That interception is the first of his Arkansas Tech career. And it gives the Wonder Boys first and 10 at the UAM 43 with 8.48 to go in the third and Tech leading 17 to three. Could be a major plus here to get some separation on that scoreboard. Two receivers right, one to the left into the short side of the field. Quarterback Tay Gatewood, 10 of 17 for 142 and a touchdown. Fakes the throw, runs left with it, and the UAM defense has him bottled up. They'll drop Gatewood for a loss of one back to the 44. Sure, that was a busted play or what? Stop made for UA Monticello by Damaris White and also by Dalian Arthur. So it'll be second down and 11 for Arkansas Tech from the UAM 44. 8.24 to go in the third. And Arkansas Tech trying to take advantage of the first UAM turnover of the day. Both of these teams came into the day with a negative turnover margin this year. Arkansas Tech came in minus four on turnover margin overall this season, which ranks ninth in the conference. UAM just ahead of them with a minus two turnover margin coming into the day. Now Tay Gatewood takes the snap. He's under pressure, rolling right. This is another busted play for Arkansas Tech. Gatewood is going to run right and pushed out of bounds, and they're going to get a late hit on UAM. Tay Gatewood pushed after he'd already stepped out of bounds by the UAM defender. Another mental error there. It was Tavante Bond, the freshman defensive lineman there to force Gatewood out of bounds. And what was a busted play from the word go, Gatewood wasn't even expecting the snap when he received it and just had to kind of improvise from there. And the Bull Weevils have gifted Arkansas Tech another 15 yards. 11th penalty for 105 yards against UAM. It moves the football down to the Bowl Weevil 26. They didn't need that. And from there it is first and 10 Arkansas Tech on an A Better Way Realty first down. The 17th the of the middle, game for Arkansas Tech. Tech. UAM with just yards. nine first downs today. Tay Gatewood in the shotgun. Two receivers left, two to his right. Brings Eddington in motion. Hand off to Ryan Wilkerson. Wilkerson stumbled down before he really ever got going. He'll get a yard to the 25, and it'll be second down and nine, Arkansas Tech from there. We're midway through the third quarter. 
Matthew Rivera checks in at wide receiver, as does Antonio Ruiz. Ruiz will be to the right side of the formation. Caleb Tannis will be joined by Rivera over on the left side. Dayton Keller will line up as either a halfback or a tight end to the right side of the formation. And the running back will be Corbin Humphrey. On second down and nine, quarterback Tay Gatewood takes the snap. Fakes the pass left, runs around right end. 20-yard line, 15, one man to beat, and that one man trips him up inside the 15-yard line. Touchdown saving tackle made for UA Monticello by Joshua McGarity, who was able to trip up Gatewood and get him to the turf at the 13, but it's a gain of 12, and it's another, a better way realty first down for Arkansas Tech. Now Gatewood has it first and 10 at the Bull Weevil 13. If you need it, another chance for another first down before a touchdown. Humphrey stays in as the running back. Same receivers as well. Keller goes in motion left. Gatewood claps his hands. Fakes the handoff to Humphrey. Gatewood tries to run right and will be dropped. Probably for a loss of one back to the 14. Tackle made for UA Monticello by Theron Bellard and Tavante Bond. They will spot Gatewood down at the 14 for a loss of one. It is second down and 11 from there. Deuce Wise checks in at running back. Corbin Humphrey will split out to the left as a receiver. Jordan Jackson is the receiver right. Caleb Tannis is the receiver out wide to the left. Quarterback Tay Gatewood on second down and 11 from the 14 yard line. He hands it off to Corbin Humphrey. Humphrey gets around right in and is gonna be forced out of bounds at about the seven. A gain of seven on, on second down and 11. will make it third down and four. Kelly, even a field goal right here makes it a three possession lead for it Arkansas sure Tech. So it's paramount right now on third and four to take care of that football. And in worst case scenario, get out of here with three points. Five minutes, five and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Clock keeps ticking in our favor. Wonder Boys break the huddle on third down and four from the UAM seven. Three receivers tightly grouped to the right side into the short side of the field. Open field left. Deuce Wise, the running back. On third down and four from the seven, Gatewood rolling left, throws for Rivera and underthrew him. Underthrew him inside the five yard line. Mm, tough one. And we'll see Austin Hosier come onto the field for Arkansas Tech. Hosier has already connected on a 33 yard field goal today. That was on the final play of the first half. Now with 5-11 to go in the third quarter. He will attempt a 25-yard field goal from the right hash mark out of a hold by Aaron Wynn. Hosier, one out of one on field goals today. Six out of eight this season. 14 out of 21 on field goal attempts for his career. Oh, we had that receiver wide open. This one from 25 yards. Oh, he may have jumped offside. He did. And we're going to have an offside against UAM. The field goal was good, but... An offsides penalty would be enough to give Arkansas Tech a first down. We'll see if Coach Ship wants to take those three points off the board. Is it five or half the distance? Here comes the referee to let us know. Be close, won't it? Here comes the referee. He's going to ask Coach Ship what he wants to do. That may be dependent upon. Your what's, question, what's Kelly. The one, what's the one thing they always say? Don't, don't take points off the board? Some folks say that. <laughs> See if Coach Ship says that. I think he's going to go for it. It looks like I don't think it'll be a first down. It'll be half distance. Okay, so it's still fourth down. Still fourth down, but he's got the offense in there. Yep, they're going to try to punish UAM for this mistake. So take that field goal off the board. The Wonder Boys will now go for it. It's going to be real close to a first down. Fourth down and inches. And it's the thick cap formation with Jordan Eddington set to take the direct snap. Eddington receives that snap. Runs up the middle. Run, rolls off of one tackler. Stays on his feet. It'll all depend on the spot. Oh, it's going to be close. It'll yeah, all it's going to depend be on the spot. They will close, unpile it. Close, close, close. They will unpile it with just over five minutes to go in the third quarter and determine whether or not Jordan Eddington was able to create enough forward progress to get all the way to the three-yard line, which is what he needed for a first down. Wonder Boys are acting like they got it. And I think we're going to have a measurement. 
We will have a measurement that gives us a chance to turn it over to Kelly for a check of the GAC scoreboard. Looks like uh, the second half has started and Henderson State still holds that 28-21 lead over Southern Arkansas. And it is Oklahoma Baptist 10, Southwest Oklahoma 3. Nine minutes to go in the third quarter there. And East Central uh, still maintains that 35-0 lead over Northwest Oklahoma in the third quarter. And Southeast Oklahoma has added a little bit to their score, three points that is. They have a 20-13 lead over Southern Nazarene in their game. That's uh, 12 minutes to go in the third quarter there. By the nose of the football, it was enough for an Arkansas Tech, a better way realty first down on the Jordan Eddington carry. And so now it is first and goal Arkansas Tech at the three. Tay Gatewood, the quarterback, Deuce Wise, the running back. The handoff is to Wise. Wise goes up to the yeah. middle and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas Tech on a three yard run by Deuce Wise. And with 4.53 to go in the third, it's a three possession lead for Arkansas Tech. Austin Hosier will attempt the extra point. It is brought to you by Mr. Break and Lube. When you need an auto repair shop you can count on, Mr. Break and Lube. Aaron Wynn, the holder, and Austin Hosier will attempt the extra point. Here with 4.53 to go in the third quarter, and right now Arkansas Tech firmly in control of this game. Gregor Jones, the long snap. To win for the hold, to Hosier for the kick. It is good, and our new score with 4.53 to go in the third quarter is Arkansas Tech 24, UA Monticello 3 in the Olathe's Realty broadcast booth. We step aside for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Football on the EAB Sports Network. If you pay for your own health insurance or you're looking for coverage, do not go online for quotes. You'll get endless calls from call centers and they will not stop. Instead, call Becky, the health plan lady. She can provide sound advice for your health insurance needs. Her freedom of choice plans lets you pick your doctors. No deductibles, no co-pays, and it's 30 to 60% lower cost than Obamacare. Call Becky at 479-886-2475 or go to health plan lady Com. Quarterback, guard, running back, every position has a role in building success. If you want a position where you can build success in your own career, Lexicon is hiring welders, millwrights, and many more positions. We offer free on-the-job training through our own Lexicon University so you can learn while you earn and build the career you want. Competitive pay, a great health care plan, paid vacation, a sweet 401k plan, and more. Find out more at lexicon-inc.com slash football. A nine-play, 43-yard scoring drive for Arkansas Tech that took three minutes and 55 seconds, resulting in the two-yard touchdown run by Deuce Wise. Now the Wonder Boys will kick it back to UA Monticello with Arkansas Tech leading 24-3, including outscoring the Bull Weevils 14 to nothing so far here in this third quarter. That last touchdown drive by Arkansas Tech set up by the first career interception for defensive back Kylan Kreit. Now Logan Timeson, the freshman out of Bentonville, will kick it away for Arkansas Tech. He drives it deep. It'll be fielded inside the five yard line down in the corner by Christian Gamage. He's out over the 15 and tripped up as he goes over the 20 yard line. A good open field tackle made right there for Arkansas Tech by Willie Miles. There's a penalty flag down. Maybe a block in the back, possibly. See, see a lot of those in this scenario. Let's see what the man in the white hat has to say for himself. Penalty flag is down at about the 12 yard line of UAM. Illegal blindside block on the receiving team. So that'll be half the distance from the spot of the foul. Back her up. And the Bull Weevils will have some exceptionally poor field position to begin this drive. They're going to have to start from their own six yard line as a result of that personal foul. UAM now has been penalized a total of 13 times for 113 yards here this afternoon. And the Bull Weevil start first and 10 from their own six with 4.46 to go in the third and Arkansas Tech leading 24 to three. 
First Quarterback down, Buddy Taylor, down. 9 of 15 passing for 118 yards. Awaits the snap. Hands it off, trying to run up the middle to no effect was Tristan Smith. Matthew Minix there to greet him in the hole and take him down. Minix, Arkansas Tech's active leader in career tackles, came in with 121 career stops, including four last week against Southwestern Oklahoma State. Gain of one makes it second down and nine bull weevils from their own seven. Taylor takes the snap. Looking left, throwing left, catch is made over the 15 up near the 20 yard line before he's hit and forced out of bounds. Is the UA Monticello receiver, Joshua Dixon. Dixon is out of bounds at the 19 yard line. It is enough for a UAM first down on a gain of 12 on second down and nine. And as we go under four minutes to go in the third quarter, it is UAM's football, first and 10 at its own 19, with Arkansas Tech leading 24 to three. Wonder Boys looking for their third consecutive win. Whistles and a timeout taken by UA Monticello. In the Alathis Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for 30 seconds plus a station ID. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info, and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person, or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. A reminder. Hey, hey. This is Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys football on River Country 1023 KCJC, Darkenham, Russellville. A reminder that next Saturday morning, Arkansas Tech University will host the 2023 Great American Com Conference Cross Country Championships here on the Arkansas Tech campus in Russellville. We'll be following ArkansasTechSports.com this week for more details about that. Little forward flip for UA Monticello from quarterback Buddy Taylor to Christian Gamage. Gamage trying to get around right in, but the Wonder Boys had that one well contained. And Gamage is stopped at the 21 after a gain of two. It's second down and eight. Wonder Boys send in some fresh defenders. Kevin Carlton checks in along with Will Stiegel. Also checking in defensively for Arkansas Tech. KJ Sims throw to the far side, catch is made. And Ben Stiegel forces the UAM receiver, Arlie Lee, out of bounds. Short of, it appears, maybe not, they're going to give him the first down. They'll say he made it up to the nose of the football to the 29. So it is a gain of eight and a UAM first down. Clock rolling, 3.05 to play in the third. Arkansas Tech 24, UAM 3. Wonder Boys have held UAM just around 200 yards of total offense. It'll be a quarterback keeper. And not much doing this time for Arlie Lee. As Lee took the snap, he right. stops back at the 28-yard line for a loss of one. It's going to be second down and 11 UAM from there. Loss of one on the play to bring up second down and 11. That's where you stay home that time. Two your lanes. Two receivers right, one to the left for UAM. The one left is Nick Howard. Quarterback Buddy Taylor joined in the backfield by running back Tristan Smith. Taylor throws short and complete to Smith. Smith stumbles, regains his footing. Kyle Green has him hemmed in, and then coming in to help finish off the tackle for Arkansas Tech. At the 25-yard line, was that mystery man for a second consecutive week. There's a Wonder Boy wearing number 67, and I'm not sure who it is. Sorry. But he, he trots off the field after making that stop. Good stop, though. He's replaced by Israel Whitmore. We know his name. Good name for him to do. Mystery man. Whitmore will line up with the linebacker here. The Wonder Boys will have three down linemen here on third down and 12 for UAM from its own 27. Here comes the blitz. Taylor throws. It is incomplete. On the far sideline, trying to make the grab for UAM. It was Nick Howard, but he was unable to get possession with the foot down. And so it is fourth down and 12 UAM. And the Lowell Weevils will be compelled to run away from their own 27-yard line as we are getting very late now in the third quarter with Arkansas.
Arkansas Tech leading 24 to 3. Williams will pick back up. Waiting just about at the 40-yard line of Arkansas Tech, it is Darian Crooms. Crooms goes over to make the catch, and then a late hit on UAM. Unless, I guess he didn't, uh, didn't he not fair catch. I guess he didn't call for a fair catch. Uh, he nope. may not have. Nope. Apparently, no fair catch was made by Darian Crooms. He yeah. got hit. Not, I misspoke. Not a late hit. A very legal hit. It turns out. Yeah, he was in bad. At the own, at the 43-yard line. That's where Arkansas Tech will go on offense. They just caught it. Stop. Like, yeah, you know, I gave a fair catch. Just right. stand here for a second. Everything about his body language suggested fair catch. UAM knew otherwise. So it is first and ten. Arkansas Tech from its own 43. A minute 23 to go in the third. It's been a good third quarter for the Wonder Boys. Arkansas Tech has put two touchdowns on the board. And UAM has been stagnant offensively. Ruiz in motion. Gatewood, quarterback keeper, running right. 45, cuts it upfield over the 50-yard line into UAM territory, down to the 46, a gain of 11. Good and in a better way, Realty first down for Tay Gatewood on the quarterback keeper. Offensive line did a great job that time. Bryson LeBlanc with the tackle for UAM. You go under a minute to play in the third. Gatewood checks to the near side for the play call. Back-to-back -back phenomenal performances by the Arkansas Tech defense. Last week it was holding Southwestern Oklahoma State to 67 yards and three first downs. This week the Wonder Boys have, hold, have held UAM to 197 yards of total offense and 11 first downs. And now it's first and 10 for the Tech offense from the UAM 46. Gatewood going left, looking for some running room. Nothing materializes. He is tackled by UA Monticello's Taylor Collins. And the Wonder Boys want it to be. That can be the final play of the third quarter. Gatewood is tackled at the UAM 46, and so whenever they run the second down play, it'll be second down and 10. Wonder Boys are going to act as if they're going to snap it here before the end of the third period. They come to the line of scrimmage on second down and 10. 10 seconds left in the period. Gatewood does not appear as if he wants the football. He's just going to let it. He's going to let it run out, and we head to the fourth quarter. Friends, it has been 2,227 days since the last time Arkansas Tech defeated one of its fellow in-state Arkansas opponents in a football game. A streak of 25 consecutive losses to their in-state opponents. And as we head to the fourth quarter in Russellville, the score is Arkansas Tech 24, UA Monticello 3. In the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at a better way realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at the Better Way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with a Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A Better Way Realty. Real estate done a better way. 15 minutes of regulation football remaining this afternoon at Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium. Arkansas Tech 24, UA Monticello 3. And Tay Gatewood with the football second down and 10 at the UAM 46-yard line. Two receivers left, one to the right. Now Eddington goes in motion toward the far side. Corbin Humphrey is the running back. Humphrey gets the handoff, running right, cuts it back to his left. It'll be stopped after a gain of two at the 44. It'll bring up third down and eight for Arkansas Tech. The UA Monticello tackle by A.J. Bullock, a freshman linebacker. It is third down and eight Wonder Boys from the UAM 44. Deuce Wise back in at running back. Two receivers left, one to the right. Wonder Boys need the UAM 36 for a first down. Gatewood brings Rivera in motion toward the far side. Now Gatewood with the snap, looking to throw. Deep down the middle for Jackson, it is incomplete. We're gonna get pass interference against UA Monticello. He is holding pretty bad. The Bow Weevil defensive back is incredulous about that call. 
Jalen Gillard will be called for pass interference. It will be the 14th penalty for 133 yards today against UA Monticello, and that has been a huge factor in this game. Arkansas Tech has only been penalized twice for 20 yards. So that's plus 113 yards in penalties today for Arkansas Tech. UAM has beaten their average. Is it 70, 71 yards? Came in averaging 71 penalty yards per game. Well exceeded that. We still have most of a quarter to go, almost all of a quarter to go. Another classic example, UAM defender just been turned around looking for the ball. Probably wouldn't have been more penalty. First and 10 at the Bowl Weevil 29, a better way realty first down. Some disrupted timing there at the snap. Yeah, a little false start. There. That'll cost the Wonder Boys five yards. Strand Smith was in at quarterback. Official could say everybody but the center move. <laughs> yeah, just offensive line. <laughs> How he decided to describe it. So that moves the football back to the 34-yard line of UAM. And from there, it'll be first down and 15 for Arkansas Tech with 14 minutes and 14 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech leading 24 to 3. Wonder Boys led 10 to 3 at halftime. Got third quarter touchdown runs of one yard by Jordan Eddington and two yards by Deuce Wise. An interception by Kylan Crank to set up that second touchdown. And as a result, the Wonder Boys in control of this one right now, 24 to 3 early in the fourth quarter. Jordan Eddington goes in motion to the far side. First and 15. And off Deuce Wise up the middle, made the first man miss, and he gets down to the 28 yard line for a gain of six. Go down in Arkadelphia, it may be whoever has the ball last. It is Henderson 31, Southern Arkansas 28, just starting the fourth quarter. Second down and nine, Wonder Boys here from the UAM 28, clock rolling, 13 minutes and 48 seconds to go. Wonder Boys have amassed 264 yards of total offense today compared to 197 for UA Monticello. Gatewood on second down and nine from the UAM 28. Slaps his hands, takes the snap. Hands to Deuce Wise. Wise able to spin his way to a short gain after it looked like he might have been dropped for a loss. Tackle for UA Monticello by Robert Iverson and Michael Pope. Stop made for no gain at the 28, so it's third down and nine, Arkansas Tech. Southwest Oklahoma fighting for that first win. They have tied Oklahoma Baptist now 10 to 10, almost the end of the third period. Jordan Jackson and Matthew Rivera will be the receiver's right. Caleb Tannis is the receiver left. Gatewood brings Dayton Keller in motion. Snap to Gatewood, third down and nine for a short, a swing complete to Deuce Wise. Wise puts his shoulder into the chest of Bryson LeBlanc. LeBlanc is able to get him to the turf at the 25 yard line. After a gain of three, it is fourth down and six for Arkansas Tech. And we'll see Austin Hosier come out to attempt the field goal. Jason Richards in the Wonder Boys left tackle. Looks like he might've got the wind knocked out of him. He's 43 yarder, looks like. Going to stay in to block for this extra for this field goal try by Austin Hosier, a 43-yard field goal from the left hash mark. Wind is right now a crossing from his left to his right. Tough wind on this long of a field goal, a 43-yard try with a left to right wind. Placement is down. The field goal attempt is away. The wind is knocking it down, and it does not get there. Short on the 43-yard try by Austin Hosier, and the football goes back to UA Monticello with 12 minutes and 7 seconds remaining, and Arkansas Tech leading 24-3. UAM offense prepares to come back onto the field, but not before we've got a timeout on the field. Here in the Alathis Realty broadcast booth, we'll step aside for one minute. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. Experienced installers needed. That's right. Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air is needing experienced installers. Candidates must have a minimum of two years experience with HVAC installation, must have a valid driver's license, and be able to pass a drug test. Serious inquiries only. Contact Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air at 479-964-4004 or drop off a resume at their office. Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air is an equal opportunity for Arkansas, 
Join us again next Saturday afternoon. We will be at Cliff Harris Stadium in Arkadelphia, and the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys will take on the nationally ranked Washington Tigers 12 30 for the pregame show and 1 p.m. for the kickoff next Saturday here on the EAB Sports Network. Buddy Taylor, UAM quarterback, on first and 10 from his own 25, rolling to his left. He's going to run for it, and he's forced out of bounds at the 30 yard line, forced out there by Javon Love. It'll bring up second down and five for the Bull Weavers. We go under 12 minutes to play. Arkansas Tech 24, UAM 3. The Wonder Boys trying to earn their first win over an in-state opponent since September 9th of 2017 when they defeated Henderson State 26-3 down in Arkadelphia. It would be the Wonder Boys' first home win over an in-state opponent since August 31st of 2017 when they beat Southern Arkansas 28-21. Now at the 30-yard line for UAM, what will be third down and five. Quarterback is Buddy Taylor. Three receivers to his right, one to his left. Needs to get to his own 35-yard line for the first down. Taylor throws across the middle behind his intended receiver, behind Isaiah Cross. It brings up fourth down and down three scores with 11.36 to go. I don't think Hud Jackson has any choice but to go for it. Fourth down and five. He is going to go for Monticello. UA Monticello is 0 for 1 on fourth down conversion tries so far today. And they are 8 out of 17 on fourth down conversion tries this year. They're going to take a timeout to think about this one. 11.36 remaining. Arkansas Tech 24. UA Monticello 3. In the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys Football on the EAB Sports Network. Farmers Co-op located in Russellville. Don't forget their Danville location. Mike Apples along. Mike, it is that time of year when feed is very, very important. It sure is, and uh, make sure that uh, you've got your animal's needs taken care of, uh, protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, when it comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op, we're located on East Main at Russellville. Don't forget the Danville location. Here in Russellville, 11.36 to go in the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech 24, UAM 3. And the Bull Weevil offense back onto the field. As they prepare to go for it on fourth and five. Well, no, they don't prepare to go for fourth and five. They've sent out the punter now. Oh, wow. They've sent out the punter. It'll be Zachary Grizzotti to punt it away as they're going to try to lean on their defense to maybe force a turnover and get a quick three and out. Be careful, though. Grizzotti's punt is away. It is fielded on a fair catch at the Arkansas Tech 33 yard line by Darian Cruz. And that's where Arkansas Tech will go back on offense after this timeout on the field. 11 minutes and 29 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech 24, UAM 3 in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth. We pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys football on the EAB Sports Network. Ball is here and winter is on the way. Ferris into Market Russellville wants you to think about upgrading to more efficient doors and windows to help offset those heating costs. And it's not a bad time to think about upgrading your home office furniture or when you get stuck working from home. Ferris into Market, 113 South Arkansas, Russellville, or phone at line 684888. Ferris into Market, proud supporters of Russellville High School and Arkansas Tech University. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at CMB Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need CMB Drugstore on the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60-year tradition. 11 minutes and 29 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech 24, UAM 3, and the Wonder Boys offense goes back on the field. A chance to put together a drive, and Kelly could put this one out of reach. I tell you what, uh, consume some time if nothing else, but let's go down and get that score. 
Tay Gatewood, the Arkansas Tech quarterback, 11 of 19 passing for 145 yards. He hands it off to Corbin Humphrey. Humphrey up the middle, fights off a shirt tail tackle. He's gonna get a hold. Gets up to the 40 yard line. It would have been a gain of six, but Kelly's almost always right. A little flag early, early in the play. And it is indeed holding against Arkansas Tech. Only the fourth penalty of the day against the Wonder Boys for 35 yards. It'll move the football back to the Arkansas Tech 24 yard line. And from there it'll be first down and 20. 11 minutes and 20 seconds remaining in this one. Arkansas Tech trying to extend that winning streak to three consecutive games and give themselves a considerable amount of momentum going into that game at Washita next Saturday. Gatewood on first down and 20 from his own 24. Throws short, it's batted in the air and Matthew Rivera makes a clutch play. Matthew Rivera goes to catch that football Picking it out of midair. That's the kind you often see intercepted in return for six mm. points. But Rivera read the deflection beautifully and went to take the football. He went down shortly thereafter, but that was of little consequence. The most important thing was to get that football, and Matthew Rivera was able to secure it at the Arkansas Tech 24 for no gain. And so it will be second down and 20 from there. Definitely one of those where your heart yep. skips a beat. Very heads-up play right there. Two receivers left, one to the right. Gatewood brings Eddington in motion. Gatewood calls for the football, receives it, fakes the handoff, throws deep, and it is intercepted. Picked off near midfield by Greg Hooks, underthrown, intended for Caleb Tannis, and Greg Hooks able to intercept it just right at the 50-yard line, and that is not what Arkansas Tech needed at this juncture in the game. A turnover that gives UAM... Great starting field position and gives some hope back to the folks in Kelly green pants and white jerseys over on the far side. Too much, too much time left. It will be first and 10 UA Monticello. Let's see where they put the football. They're acting like they want to put it at the 50. That's where they put it. 10, 15 to go in the fourth as UA Monticello goes back on offense. And this Arkansas Tech defense that has been so good now, especially the last two weeks, is called upon to get another stop. Buddy Taylor sets himself up to throw deep to the near side. It is caught by Isaiah Cross, the 25, the 20, 15, and drugged down from behind inside the 15-yard line by Arkansas Tech's Javon Love as Buddy Taylor able to find Cross Cross, UAM's leading active receiver in terms of career receptions, came into the day with 74 career catches for 1,108 yards, and he sets UAM up with a scoring opportunity here as they spot the football at the 17-yard line after a gain of 32. Handoff to Tristan Smith. Smith tries the middle, and the Arkansas Tech defense has him stopped after a gain of three. Yep, trying to strike early. Rashad Richardson among the Wonder Boys in on that stop, along with Braxton Johnson. The gain was two to the 15, and it is second down and eight for UA Monticello. Wonder Boys shuttle in some fresh defenders. And quarterback Buddy Taylor of UA Monticello prepares for second down and eight from the Arkansas Tech 15. Taylor takes the snap, throws across the middle, batted down, incomplete. It was oh, Braxton oh, Johnson. Now the Wonder Boys saying they may have intercepted out of midair. The officials blowing their whistle. No, they say now incomplete pass. Wonder Boys, we're going to play to the whistle. Now we have some extra pushing and shoving at the end of the play. Now some more extra pushing and shoving. The referee is knocked down. That's not good. I hope he's okay. It appears that he is. And this is going to take a moment to sort out. Yeah, this is not good. Considerable poor behavior on both sides. And the officials will take a moment to sort it out with 9.06 to go in the fourth quarter after Braxton Johnson batted down that past the line of scrimmage. You have to imagine we're going to end up with just offsetting dead ball fouls here against the two sides and a stern warning, and on we'll go. Heads over seven. Well, what's not our fault? <laughs> if the play were to stand, it would be <laughs> third down and eight for UA Monticello from the Arkansas Tech 15 with the Wonder Boys leading 24-3. to three. 
the referee will have to depend on his other fellow officials to explain to him what happened because he was down. He was down. He would not be able to see it. Well, as we said earlier, because well, he he was one of the ones that threw a flag, so he knows what he had. All right, they've sorted it out. Let's see what they've got. Okay, so they've ejected a, a UAM player. And let's see where they end up putting the football. It was a dead ball. And I, I don't, I didn't, he didn't indicate any kind of foul against Arkansas Tech. No, he didn't. The UAM player he is disqualified who has UAM been player. ejected was Nathan Jewell. Jewell for a flagrant unnecessary roughness call has been ejected. I have to imagine this can be, since he didn't indicate anything against Arkansas Tech, which HUD Jackson now is arguing that point. I'm sure HUD was assuming the same thing I was, that they were just going to, end up with some offsetting fouls here and go on. But that's not the case at all. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty against UA Monticello unless the referee failed to report something to us there. And if that's the case, it'll move the football all the way back out to the Arkansas Tech 30-yard line. And UAM is going to face second down and 23. But they've yet to move the football now, they will. And they move the football back, as we've assumed, back to the 30-yard line. And it will be second down, or actually third down, I should say, because it was a dead ball foul. The incomplete pass stands. Now it is third down and 23 for UAM from the Arkansas Tech 30-yard line. Nine minutes and six seconds remaining. Tech in front, 24 to three. Wonder Boys show a blitz. Now back off, they'll just rush four. Taylor throws across the middle. Catch is made by Arlie Lee. Lee is stopped at the 15-yard line with a gain of 15. It'll bring up fourth down and eight for UA Monticello. Clock rolling, 8.53 to play. Definitely be going for it here. They need the Arkansas Tech seven yard line for a first down. It is fourth down and eight UAM, and Arkansas Tech might very well be one step, one stop away right here from going a long way towards securing this victory. On fourth and eight, Buddy Taylor has the snap, steps up. Rolling to his right, rolling, rolling, throwing. It is caught. Did what he get a foot down? Yes, he did, and it's a first down or very close to it. It's going to depend on the spot. My goodness, is that close to the seven-yard line. He's right on the seven. The catch was made for UA Monticello by Giovanni Gibson. But that was a great catch. Give, that was got credit due. And it is exactly enough for a first down. On fourth and eighth, they get eight. And the Bull Weevils maintain possession. The good news is for Arkansas Tech, the clock is continuing to roll, now down to eight minutes and 10 seconds. And it's first and goal UAM at the Arkansas Tech seven on a phenomenal grab by Giovanni Gibson. They'll direct snap it here to Arlie Lee. Lee running left, hemmed in the backfield. Braxton Johnson has him wrapped up and will not let go. Johnson makes the tackle at the five. Braxton Johnson came into the day for Arkansas Tech this season with 30 tackles, six and a half of those for a loss. He had eight tackles last week against Swasu, matching his career high. And he makes the stop there to bring up second down and goal for UAM from the Arkansas Tech five, down to seven minutes and 35 seconds to play. Tech leads by 21. Arlie Lee takes the snap, running right, getting a push from behind to the three-yard line, to the maybe the two-yard line, and it's another rugby scrum at the two. Stopped there for a gain of three yards is Arlie Lee. And it'll be third down and goal upcoming for the Bull Weevils. And again, the clock is very much the Wonder Boy's friend at this point. Because it'll be down. down. UAM has an injury. And so they'll have to stop the clock to tend to him. Here with 7.04 remaining and Arkansas Tech leading 24-3 in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth. We pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. At Centennial Bank, we believe serving our community goes beyond assisting with financial needs. We pride ourselves on being community connected and customer focused. Supporting our community starts with our employees. We enjoy rolling up our sleeves and helping make our community a better place. Our local bankers are a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our communities. That is why Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call home. Centennial Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
Seven minutes and four seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech 24, UA Monticello 3. And while they continue to look at the injured bull weevil, we turn to Kelly Davis for an update from the great American Conference scoreboard. Still a good one in Arkadelphia. Henderson State has uh, only been allowed a couple of field goals now. It is 34 to 28. Uh, Henderson State in the lead. 618 to go in the game. Southern Arkansas has the ball almost to midfield. So that's going to be an interesting ending to that contest. Southwest Oklahoma, they keep fighting. They're trying to get that first win. They now have a 13 to 10 lead over Oklahoma Baptist. It is East Central continuing with that. Uh, nope, I'm sorry, they just scored again. It is 42 to 0 over Northwest Oklahoma. And Southeast Oklahoma, 20. Southern Nazarene, 13. 8.23 remaining in that ball game. So Southeast Oklahoma trying to improve to 3-4 and four on the season and drop Southern Nazarene to 3-4 and four on the season. So that's where we're at right now. We'll give you an update on that Henderson-Southern Arkansas game as we go. The injured bull weevil was offensive lineman Bayless Jones are helping him from the field. And so now it is third down and goal for UA Monticello at the Arkansas Tech two yard line with seven minutes and four seconds left and Tech leading 24 to three. They will direct snap it to Arley Lee. Waiting still for the injured bull weevil to completely clear the field, which he has now done. Now here we go on third and goal from the two. Snap to Arley Lee. Lee runs left. Lee lowers his right shoulder and he's into the end zone. Touchdown UA Monticello with six minutes and 54 seconds remaining. It's Arkansas Tech 24 and UAM 9 pending the extra point. The scoring drive for the Bull Weevils, seven plays, 50 yards. It was set up by the Greg Hooks interception. Now we presume the extra point will be attempted by Zachary Grizzotti. Really no advantage for UAM to go for two here, and Grizzotti is on the field. And so they will attempt the extra point with 6.54 remaining. The holder is Caleb Jacobs. Placement is down, kick is away, it is good. And our new score with six minutes and 54 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter is Arkansas Tech 24, UA Monticello 10. In the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys Football on the EAB Sports Network. Chicken Mart, your local chicken and more store, has some great deals to feed your family on a budget while supplies last at both their Arkansas Avenue and Weir Road locations. Assorted flavored pork loins, buy one and get one free. Breaded chicken breast chunks, buy one bag, get one bag free. Breaded chicken breast tenders, buy one bag, get one bag for free. Breaded chicken breast fillets, buy one bag, get one bag for free. Supplies are limited, so get these deals while they last only at your local Chicken Mart, your chicken and more store at both their Arkansas Avenue and we're road locations today. Six minutes and 54 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech 24, UA Monticello 10, and the Wonder Boys very much expecting an onside kick here from UAM. And that is all, made all the more likely by the fact that it is Zachary Grizzotti out to kick it instead of their regular kickoff man, Dylan Duhon. Nobody language yet from Grizzotti, yo, that he's going, and then the ball falls off the tee. The wind blew the ball off the tee just as Grizzotti was arriving at it. And so we'll see. While we await that kickoff, Southern Arkansas has scored a 31-yard touchdown, but that play is under review. So it's either tied up with the chance to take the lead or they will replay that down. 424 left to go in that game. So now Hud Jackson has called his kicker, Zachary Grizzotti, over and Coach Jackson whispered something into his ear. And so now we'll see what the Bull Weevils do on the second try of this yeah. kickoff. Now Grizzotti's moving it over to the other side of the field. Now they're going to onside it. I don't think they're clever enough to have had that ball fall off the tee at just the right moment, but they are going to go with the onside kick now after appearing as if they would not. Grizzotti approaches the football. It is an onside kick. It is recovered by Arkansas Tech. Matthew Rivera. The man with the sure oh, hands. Oh, we've got a flag. Rivera covers it at the 46-yard line of UAM with six minutes and 50 seconds remaining. And let's see what we got. Saying that we're offsides. 
Head coach Kyle Schiff is out almost to the numbers in search of an explanation. I think the referee is ready to make his report. Now it's looking like it might be against UAM based on the body language from Coach Ship. Illegal formation oh, against well, UAM. because yeah, you have to have four. You have to have at least four on each side. They only had one on this side of the kicker. So that'll add five yards onto the end of the play, and Arkansas Tech will begin from the UAM 41-yard line with six minutes and 50 seconds to go, and Arkansas Tech leading 24-10. to 10. And Kelly, all you got to do right now is just take care of the football. Take care of the ball. Cover that thing up like it's the only thing in the world that matters. Tay Gatewood will keep it. He runs right, bounces it back to the middle, and dives down to the 36-yard line, a gain of five. It will keep the clock rolling. It'll be down close to six minutes left got before the Wonder down. Boy, or would have been down close to six minutes left before the Wonder Boys had to snap it again. But there are two players down, one for UAM, one for Arkansas Tech, the Weevil, is able to get back to his feet. The Wonder Boy is not, and we've got time out on the field. 6.36 to go, Tech leading 24-10 to 10 in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth. It's a 30-second break. This is Wonder Boys football on the EAB Sports Network. I am a teacher. I am a banker. I'm a father. I am a mother. I'm Muskie Harris, former Arkansas Razorback. I have 26 years of recovery. Meth does not discriminate. Choose your natural state. We choose me over there. 55,000 fans having a good time. 385 with a deadly secret. Meth kills more Arkansans per year than cocaine and heroin combined. Help stop this epidemic before it's too late. Choose your natural state. Choose me over meth. Duke Walden, the head athletic trainer at Arkansas Tech, along with head football coach Kyle Ship, helping the injured wonder boy back to his feet. That's Noah Tyndall. Walking off on his own, so that's good. Noah, a freshman offensive lineman out of Moralton, same hometown that produced Kyle Ship, the head football coach at Arkansas Tech. And as play resumes, it'll be second down and five for Arkansas Tech from the UAM 36-yard line with six minutes and 36 seconds to go. And Arkansas Tech leading 24-10. to 10. Trying to snap that long and confounding losing streak to opponents from inside the state of Arkansas. Gatewood will keep again. Runs left, made one man miss, and then tripped up around the ankles by UAM's Daly and Arthur. They have Gatewood down for a loss of one to the 37. It'll bring up third down and six for Arkansas Tech. And now we've got a bull weevil down. While they tend to the injured bull weevil here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for 30 seconds this is Arkansas Tech Football on the EAB Sports Network. Are you looking for a great place to work that offers great pay and benefits where you can make an impact in a safe, clean environment? ConAgra is looking for motivated, energetic people to join their team. ConAgra is recruiting industrial maintenance technicians to fill openings on all shifts. Positions start at $25.61 an hour plus a shift differential. Experience is required, so for immediate consideration, apply online at ConAgraBrands.com forward slash careers. That's ConAgraBrands.com forward slash careers. ConAgra is an equal opportunity employer. It was the man who made the tackle, DeLeon Arthur, who was shaken up for UA Monticello. He is back to his feet now and making his way to the far sideline. And so now it'll be third down and six for Arkansas Tech from the UAM 37-yard line. Six minutes and seven seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech 24, UA Monticello 10. And the Arkansas Tech offense will very methodically make its way back onto the field. The Wonder Boys will not be in a big hurry for anything the rest of the way here this afternoon. Gatewood, the quarterback, on third and six, needs to get to the UAM 31 for a first down. Clock rolling, 5.45 to go. 18 on the play clock. Two receivers right, one to the left. Gatewood watching that play clock wind down. He gets under 10. He brings Humphrey to join him in the backfield. Fakes the handoff. Gatewood keeps, runs right. It'll be tackled well short of the line to gain. Stop made for UAM by Michael Pope. After a gain of one to the 36. It is fourth down and five for the Wonder Boys. Whistles and another injured bull weevil 
Here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees' products and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business, not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479 272 40 69. The injured UAM bull weevil, Michael Pope, getting back to his feet. But he needs some assistance to get off the field, favoring his right leg. Now we'll see what Coach Kyle Ship of Arkansas Tech wants to do on fourth down and five from the UAM 36 with 516 remaining and Arkansas Tech leading 24 to 10. Kind of in that no man's land right here. Not a lot of choice but to go for it. Long, long field goal or punt, make a short punt or go for it. The Wonder Boys will go for it on fourth and five. Also always have the chance of drawing UAM offside here. Two receivers left, one to the right. Tay Gatewood awaits the snap. Yeah, let the clock run down. Gatewood trying to draw UAM offside. The Bull Weevil's not biting. So Gatewood takes another look to the near side. Play clock at 17, four minutes and 51 seconds left in the game. Coach Ship is hollering at Tay to not get in a big hurry here. UAM still will not jump offside. Probably play, gonna take a timeout. Play clock at three, play clock at one, and timeout taken by Arkansas Tech. Four minutes and 32 seconds remaining in Russellville. Arkansas Tech 24, UA Monticello 10. In the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys Football on the EAB Sports Network. Fellner's Athletes Corner, your high-performance athletic store for quality athletic footwear and apparel, features Nike, Under Armour, The North Face, Patagonia, Oakley, Saucony, New Balance, Brooks, Asics, Kavu, Keen, and many, many more. Fellner's invites you to make them your first stop. With more than 50 years combined, experience the familiar faces at Fellner's and help you with all your athletic needs. Fellner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main, Russellville, open 930 until 6, Monday through Saturday. So the Wonder Boys end up taking a delay of game penalty, I believe, almost, almost certain on purpose, to give Aaron Wynn just a little more room to punt this football as now Arkansas Tech will punt it on 4th and 10 from the UAM 41. Trying to bury the Bull Weevils deep in their own territory. Wynn angles this one toward the near side. It lands inside the 10, and the Wonder Boys will be able to down it at the 3. A fine job by Aaron Wynn on a 38-yard punt, and UAM will get the football back down by 14, with 4.23 remaining, and UAM will have to start from its own three-yard line. That one, short of getting some more points, that's about the best that could have turned out. You. Make them work for 97 yards now. Wonder Boys were able to take two and a half minutes off the clock and bury the Bull Weevils inside their own five as Arkansas Monticello goes back on offense with 4.23 yeah. remaining. Arkansas Tech leading 24 to 10. Don't give up a big play. Taylor takes the snap, drops straight back. He chucks it to the far side of the field. It is caught, caught, and out of bounds with it for UA Monticello is, I believe, Taylor Collins, if that's correct. No, uh, no, it's not 18, it's 13. The catch is made by LaCedric Smith, senior wide receiver, makes the grab all the way out at the UA Monticello 47-yard line. It's a pickup of 44 yards, and there's still life for the Bull Weevils with 4.15 to go. What we just talked about, don't give up big plays. Obviously weren't listening to you, Kelly. I tell you. Taylor in the shotgun, takes the snap. Here comes some pressure. Weevils pick it up, throw across the middle. Catch is made by Isaiah Cross, falling down with a first down at the Arkansas Tech 42, a gain of 11, and the Bull Weevils move the chains once more. We're under four minutes to go. Arkansas Tech leads 24 to 10. The Bull Weevils trying to put together an unlikely comeback bid. Buddy Taylor with the snap, lots of time, throws it deep. It is just beyond the reach of Isaiah Cross. Cross mm, got turned around. Receivers. 
Cross got turned around and was looking the wrong direction. If he had been in, had his body in better position, that would have been a touchdown. Stops the clock, too. 3.37 to go. Arkansas Tech leading 24 to 10. Kevin Carlton back in in the secondary for Arkansas Tech. As Buddy Taylor, the UAM quarterback, looks to the far side for the play call. Taylor now 15 of 24 for 241 yards today. Second down and 10 at the Tech 42. Taylor takes the snap, throws left, and beyond the reach of his intended receiver, Nick Howard. Good coverage provided over on the far side of the field for Arkansas Tech by Kylan Kreit, who had an interception earlier in this second half that set up an Arkansas Tech touchdown. Now it's third down and 10 UAM. Line of scrimmage remains the Tech 42. Three minutes and 33 seconds left in the game. Taylor with the snap. Steps up in the pocket. Rolling to his left now. He will throw it short and in and out mm. of the hands of his intended receiver and then almost intercepted. It falls incomplete. Nick Howard had a first down in his hands inside about the 30-yard line. Could not make the catch, though. And then when he deflected it, it very nearly went into the arms of Jiren Stewart, but it falls incomplete. And now UAM perhaps down to just about its last chance. Fourth down and 10 from the Arkansas Tech 42. And my goodness, a stop right here could go a very long way for the Wonder Boys. Fourth and 10 from the Tech 42. Buddy Taylor awaits the snap, has it. Sets himself, throws across the middle, catch is made. Should be enough for a first down, but a penalty flag comes in. A penalty flag is thrown and we're likely gonna have holding against UA Monticello that will negate the first down pass from Buddy Taylor Oh, no, I was, I was wrong. Oh, the pass. oh, that's not what I wanted to see at all. Oh, instead of holding, it's roughing the passer against Arkansas Tech, so not only will the play stand, that's they'll, tacked on. they'll tack 15 onto the end of it. And so that will move the football all the way down to the Arkansas Tech 15-yard line, and that all of a sudden very much puts the outcome of this game back in doubt. It is first and 10 UAM at the Arkansas Tech 15 after the completed pass, and then the roughing the passer call against Arkansas Tech. And it's first and 10 Bull Weevils with 3.07 to go. Buddy Taylor brings him to the line of scrimmage. Three receivers to his left and one to his right. Takes the snap, rolls the pocket to his left, pursued by Richardson, throws it into the end zone. Catch is made. Out of bounds. Out of bounds is the UAM receiver. As Buddy Taylor was trying to connect over on the far side Ooh. of the field Mercy. with Isaiah Cross, and Cross could not get a foot down with possession. Very fortunate right there. And now a decision for Hud Jackson. Does he challenge that call? He's got the flag out and he's going to challenge it. Hud Jackson has challenged the call of an incomplete pass. He feels like Isaiah Cross had a foot down inbounds with possession. And so Hud Jackson of UA Monticello has challenged the call while they go to the tent to take a look at the replay here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth with 2.53 remaining and Arkansas Tech leading 24 to 10. We step aside for a 30 second break. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. Watch your money grow with First State Bank's My Rewards checking. Earn 4% APY on balances up to $25,000 and nationwide ATM fee refunds. Plus, First State Bank makes banking easy with mobile banking and drive through banking 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Don't wait. Make the switch. Earn more interest with My Rewards checking. The qualifications must be met to earn 4% APY. If qualifications are not met, the account will earn 0.05 APY that statement cycle. First State Bank, member FDIC. Kelly Davis with a look at the GAC scoreboard. Hey, well, it's still a good one down in Arkadelphia. Southern Arkansas has scored. They had that play under review, kicked the extra point. Southern Arkansas 35, Henderson State 34, a minute 34 remaining at, in that game, and Southern Arkansas has the ball back and they are on their own 44-yard line, so they look like they're in good position to win that game. Oklahoma Baptist has scored. They have a 17-13 lead now over uh, Southwest Oklahoma. Eight minutes to go in that game. We have a final from uh, Alva. It is uh, East Central, 42, 
Northwest Oklahoma seven. So Northwest will drop to 0 and seven on the year and East Central improves to three and four. And another close one in the fourth quarter, two minutes and 32 seconds remaining in that game. Southeast Oklahoma 20, Southern Nazarene 19. And here's the referee with the decision on the review. They have confirmed an incomplete pass. And so they confirm incomplete pass. And so no touchdown for UAM. Bull Weevils, of course, do maintain possession. The line of scrimmage remains the Arkansas Tech 15-yard line. Sam, it has gone final. Southern Arkansas 35, Henderson State 34. SAU will move to 6-1 and one on the season. Four wide receivers for Buddy Taylor on second down and 10 from the Tech 15. Takes the snap. Now under some pressure. Flushed, runs up the middle. Spin move the 10, penalty flag thrown. And let's see what we've got. This one is almost certainly holding against UAM. I've been wrong once on that assumption though. Taylor was able to run down to about the 10 yard line on that scramble, but he was helped by a hold by one of his offensive linemen. And so that'll move the football back to the Arkansas Tech 25 yard line. And UAM will face second down and 20. Two minutes and 45 seconds to go. Arkansas Tech 24, UA Monticello 10. The Wonder Boys looking to break that long losing streak against in-state opponents, extend their current overall winning streak to three in a row, and get to three and four on the season with four weeks remaining in the season. It's Buddy Taylor in the shotgun on second down and 20 from the Tech 25. Takes the snap, throws left, catch made at the 20. Damian Jordan immediately wraps up the UAM receiver and takes to the turf, Giovanni Gibson. Gibson is down at the 18 yard line with a gain of seven. And it is third down and 13 for UA Monticello with two minutes and eight seconds to go. Buddy Taylor awaits the snap, has it, looking right. Now he runs it up the middle, 15, brought down from behind at the 11, a gain of four. And it'll be fourth down for UAM. And the Bull Weevils are again down to their final chance. They face fourth down and six from the Arkansas Tech 11 with a minute 45 to go. Clock rolling, UAM out of timeouts. Fourth down and six, they've got to get to at least the Tech five yard line to keep their hopes alive. Taylor takes the snap. Taylor looking, throwing into the end zone, too tall, incomplete, turnover on downs, and the football belongs to Arkansas Tech with one minute and 27 seconds to go. The Bull Weevils out of timeouts, and the Wonder Boys closing in on the sweet relief of a win over the Bull Weevils. Yes, yes, take care of the ball now. Line of scrimmage will be the Arkansas Tech 11 with 1.27 to go. And with UAM out of timeouts, the Wonder Boys can just simply get in victory formation. And the party can begin here on the near sideline. Arkansas Tech will improve to three and four on the season, a third consecutive win for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys have always done their best work under Coach Ship in October, and we've certainly seen that again here in 2023. Victory formation for Arkansas Tech with a minute 27 to go. Gatewood takes a knee. Tay Gatewood today, 12 of 21 passing for 145 yards, a touchdown. Gatewood also Arkansas Tech's leading rusher with 13 carries for 47 yards, but the story for Arkansas Tech for a second consecutive week was the defense. Gave up some yardage this week. This week it wasn't so much holding the opponent to a minuscule amount of total offense. It was the Wonder Boys' ability to get stops in the red zone. UAM turned away inside the red zone on three occasions today. The Bull Weevils just two out of five on red zone scoring opportunities after they came into the day leading the conference in that category. They had converted on 17 of 18 red zone scoring chances this year. And today, the Wonder Boys defense, when they needed stops the most, they got them. Gatewood takes a knee, and that should do it. The Wonder Boys should not have to snap it again. Clock down to 30 seconds left. The Wonder Boys beginning to gather at midfield for the postgame handshake with UAM. And now the Arkansas Tech offense leaving the field. They will not snap it again. Final score in Russellville, Arkansas Tech 24, UA Monticello 10, and it's over.
It's over, it's finally over. The 25 game losing streak against in-state opponents is part of history now as the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys defeat an in-state opponent for the first time since September 9th of 2017. And for the first time in 2,227 days, Arkansas Tech celebrates a win over an in-state opponent. Final score today, Arkansas Tech 24, UAM 10. In the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for one minute and then come back for the health plan lady post-game show Wonder Boys win. This is Arkansas Tech football on the EAB Sports Network. Hey, it's Drew Mitchell for Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery. Lakeside is really proud this year to be sponsoring our local sports all throughout the River Valley. They're committed to the area. It's just another way they show that. When you're in the market for dentures, wisdom teeth, or whatever the case may be, remember Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery and check out their website at lakesideofs.com. Lakeside Oral Surgery, helping make the broadcast of local sports throughout the River Valley possible. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. Miller Roofing Company, a family-owned company treating you like family. Who's a part of the Miller family of employees? This is K Metz. I answer the phones. I am the front desk. And uh, when you come in, I'm the first person that will greet you. I will make sure that you get looked after. Our whole office, we, we are family. So that is what we try and encourage with our customers. Your friends at Miller Roofing. See them on South Arkansas and Russellville and follow them on Facebook. Back with you at Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium. And Kelly, I don't know about you, but I can feel the relief from up here of those Wonder Boys as they celebrate oh, this win. Yes. I mean, it's always good to see them gather down there with the band and play the fight song. You know, I like to see that more often. It is a third consecutive win for Arkansas Tech, stacking this on top of the wins over Northwestern Oklahoma State and Southwestern Oklahoma State. Now a third consecutive win as the Wonder Boys take down the UAM Bowl Weevils here this afternoon, 24 to 10. Let's take a look at the final numbers here on the Health Plan Lady post game show. Health Plan Lady, we treat you better. Arkansas Tech today had 22 a better way realty first downs compared to 17 first downs for UA Monticello. Arkansas Tech with a total offense today of 268 yards. The Wonder Boys had 119 rushing yards and 149 passing yards. UAM had 348 yards of total offense, actually outgaining Arkansas Tech in terms of total offense. 79 rushing yards, 269 passing yards for UA Monticello. Turn over the, uh, should, the penalties were a huge factor in this game. UA Monticello, 17 penalties for 164 yards. And that's a very difficult way to win a game, especially on the road. Arkansas Tech, the more disciplined team today. The Wonder Boys only had six penalties for 55 yards. Arkansas Tech maintained possession of the football for 33 minutes and 35 seconds compared to 26 minutes and 25 seconds for UA Monticello. The Wonder Boys, five out of nine on third down conversions. UAM, three out of 13 on third down conversions. That's obviously a big number, but the biggest number of all, Kelly, those three stops inside the red zone that the Arkansas Tech defense got, holding the Bull Weevil scoreless on three of their five trips inside the red zone, and that was quite simply the difference in the game. It was. You know, the missed field goals, the, the opportunities that, that UAM had early, you know, they could have taken control of this game and, and could have just flipped the board real quickly. But our defense hung in there, and they did their job today. So congratulations, Arkansas Tech defense. Individual leaders, first for UA Monticello, Tristan Smith had 10 carries for 42 yards to lead UAM on the ground. Quarterback Buddy Taylor completed 17 of 30 passes for 260 yards. Leading receiver today for receivers for UAM, Isaiah Cross, six catches for 74 yards, and Arlie Lee with five catches for 76 yards. Defensive leaders for UAM included Michael McCorvey with seven tackles and Jacarius Scott with five. 
Arkansas Tech led by Tay Gatewood, who carried 13 times for 47 yards, and Gatewood completed 12 of 21 passes for 145 yards and a touchdown. Jordan Jackson, four catches for 100 yards and a touchdown for Arkansas Tech to lead the receivers. Defensively, it was Ben Stiegel with eight tackles, Braxton Johnson, Blake Brown, and Javon Love with four tackles apiece as the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys end their 25-game losing streak against in-state opponents and pick up their third consecutive win this season. Final score in Russellville here on the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show, Arkansas Tech 24 and UAM 10. And we turn to Kelly Davis for any final thoughts or GAC scoreboard updates or just anything else. Oh, we've got some finals for you. Let's go ahead and give you those real quick. As we mentioned, Southern Arkansas hangs on, kicks that extra point, and defeats Henderson State 35-34. It is Southeast Oklahoma with a 20-19 to win over Southern Nazarene. I am guessing it was 20-13, 2019 final. I'm guessing maybe Southern Nazarene decided to maybe go for two points. It's either that or a blocked extra point, but they come up one point short in that game. East Central all over Northwest Oklahoma, 42-7. to And so we've got some changes in the leaderboard as we, as we speak. There's going to be one undefeated team left after tonight. Harding and Washita, they will clash at 6 p.m. this evening. They are both at 6-0. Southern Arkansas moves to 6-1. Henderson State falls to 5-2. And, and then we have a just a bunch at 3-4. Your Wonder Boys, Southern Nazarene, East Central, Southeast Oklahoma. UA Monticello drops to 2-5. Northwest Oklahoma drops to 0-7. But with 2 minutes and 34 seconds left in Weatherford, Oklahoma Baptist leads 17 to 13. So never know what's going to happen there. We might be able to uh, shoot you something before Sam signs off today, but what a, what a wild day. A lot of movement in the standings. And one thing that uh, is really good to see, those Wonder Boys moving up. And a great win today for Arkansas Tech. Our final score at Simmons Bank Field at Thone Stadium was Arkansas Tech 24 and UA Monticello 10. We send along special thanks to the athletics communications professionals at these two institutions of higher learning, especially Daniel Gallegos and his outstanding crew here at Arkansas Tech, as well as Eric Moyer from the Great American Conference for all the facts and figures we were able to share with you today. We thank brother Stephen Berry, who did his usual phenomenal job as our chief studio engineer. We thank the many sponsors who make it possible. And thanks to you for listening. Our next broadcast of Arkansas Tech Athletics on the EAB Sports Network will come your way next Saturday afternoon from Cliff Harris Stadium in Arkadelphia as the Wonder Boys will go for their fourth consecutive win and they'll have the nationally ranked Washita Tigers to contend with. A 12.30 pregame show, 1 p.m. for the kickoff next Saturday here on the EAB Sports Network. Until then, from my broadcast partner, Kelly Davis, I'm Sam Streisner reminding you that Jerry says fight on. So long, everybody. Arkansas Tech University Wonder Boys football is...